Welcome to the Star Wars Galaxy. Here you can see planets from Coruscant down to Kamino, each siding with one of the main factions at war, the Republic and the Separatists. Two commanders lead their respective sides. Commander Rooster controls the Republic, while the evil Dave is in charge of the Separatists. Each commander has his strengths and weaknesses, with Rooster, our main protagonist, focusing on canon-accurate fleet compositions. These include four different tiers that will be loosely followed and potentially adjusted throughout the campaign. Meanwhile, Dave, the enemy, will throw every everything he has at Rooster, including hundreds of ships at a time. Will he succeed? Let's find out. All right, and welcome back to Republic at War, but it's realistic. This is Commander Rooster speaking, and I am so excited to welcome you all to the season finale of Republic at War, but it's realistic. So we've got a lot that I have to showcase in today's episode. I've got a few surprises and one that we're going to show right now, plus a few in the future. So before we kind of get into things, I'd like to say I did a lot of testing before this episode because my microphone broke. So you can see I've got a ton of of saves but that's okay because I've got the right one right here and once I click load we're gonna have something that I've been trying to do for a long time since the uh, since before the penultimate episode so we'll we'll see what I'm talking about Tactical battle. <laughs> yes it's the battle of Coruscant so you might be wondering Wait a minute, this isn't a full battle of Coruscant, it's just 43 Munificents. Also, how did Dave get 43 Munificents? So yeah, I, I did a lot. I did boost him pretty significantly in terms of his forces. So this is going to be a very difficult final episode for me. On top of that, the lag, I had to do some uh, fixing, but we'll see. But this is not his entire fleet, the 43 Munificents. Nah, nah. This is not his entire fleet. As a matter of fact, Dave has a little bit of a, <clears throat> he has a few reinforcements that I'd love to, uh, I'd love to show you guys. Here they come. <laughs> right now. <laughs> you can already hear, we're, we're firing weapons as we speak. Yes. <laughs> look at, look at Dave's monstrous fleet. He's got the malevolence. He has the invisible hand, a couple recusants, of course, the many munificents, support ships, and a ton of fighters. Meanwhile, we've got Anakin, Obi-Wan, even an Imperial Star Destroyer, and the Resolute. Everyone's here for the battle of Coruscant. So, um, big shout out to Luigi Bro 2424 for allowing us or for helping me work on this, finally getting it right. And then also shout out to our moderator on the Discord server who had requested this. So, let's get this battle going right here. We've got the malevolence positioned up. Let's see if he's going to fire his super weapon. This thing is very dangerous. You gotta watch out for that. Oh, hey, look! Look, look, look! It's the super weapon! <laughs> it's, it's the super weapon aiming for... An Architans? <laughs> but that's okay. It hit the Architans, destroyed its engines, essentially, made it a sitting duck, but it also impacted all of the ships around it, taking out the shields, and even for the pride of the core, he lost his shields as well. So we're already... Oh boy, we're starting things out. Quite intense. So for the um, for the Battle of Coruscant, I am privy to the the comms chatter being the comms channel being extremely overwhelmed because of the number of ships and the intensity of the battle, and that's definitely going to be the that's definitely going to be the case today. Um, we've also got a gravity well generator. So Dave, he is not escaping. He might have a hefty fleet, but me oh my, no no no, we are not allowing this guy to retreat. I'm ready now. I'm gonna bring in all the fighters, push them up quick. I'm also gonna bring in our Z95 hero. Anakin and Obi-Wan are also pushing up. I do not have the arcs on hand. Give me your arc 170s. Push up. Y wings push up. Arc 170s, here we are. Got a whole group up top. So this was requested for the last episode, the penultimate one, the Battle of Coruscant. And my gosh, look at this. What an absolute monstrous battle. Look at all the munificence. I'm losing civvies. They're destroying our civvies. 
But no bother. It's uh, it's just what the CIS does. So unfortunately, <laughs> that's just something I have to deal with here. But let's see. Oh, here comes the super weapon. Ooh. Just right at that Architons. I don't know why Dave has a problem with the Architons, but he is he is aiming straight for it. Let's see, that's a normal providence. Where's where's the invisible hand here? Where is Grievous's special ship? Oh my gosh, look at this. We've actually got quite a significant fighter force. I think we're we're kind of defeating them for the most part. Oh wow. Well, we're banding there with that guy. Where's our invisible hand? Is that it right there? That's the invisible hand. There it is. There it is. That's the invisible hand. Oh boy, we're losing Arc 170s. Oh boy. They're taking fire from somewhere, not the malevolence, I guess. Don't know what's hitting them, but they gotta take out. Ah, oh, there we go. Good job. Good job. Take out Grievous's engines. Beautiful. Excellent work, troops. All right. I want everyone to keep pushing up. Keep going, keep moving. Meanwhile, we've got a little group here that's got to get moving. Move around, troops, move around. We'll need fighters out there, stat. Bring as many fighters as we can get out there. They're bringing in reinforcements, we got to do the same. We got Z95 headhunters. Go intercept best you can. We got Jedi up top as well. Good, good, good. Oh, the Jedi's taking some major laser fire. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh boy. Oh buddy. You might be overstretching a little bit there. Keep up with that fire troops. That malevolence is right there. See that? Look at that. <laughs> I tried to go in the cinematic camera, but it just that ain't doing too good. Oh, we've got a broadside. Look at that. Broadsiding the, what I believe is the invisible hand. Excellent. Look at beautiful. Good fire. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Chase him down. Good. Oh, this is like the, um, what is it? It was Ayla Sakura's, uh, I think it was the, I forgot what it, called, it was, its name, but the Venator that broadsided the Invisible Hand, it started with a G. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I think we just got it. Oh, here's hoping Palpatine wasn't in that because he would have totally died. Oh, there it goes. Okay, hey, all right. Let's keep going. Keep pushing forward. Keep moving. Obi-Wan is surrounded currently. Obi-Wan, buddy. Buddy. Oh my goodness. See, look how overpowered the Jedi are. Oh my gosh. Obi-Wan, go into full fledged. Ooh, Anakin's also taking a lot of fire. Where's our anti fighter support? Hey, get over here. We're going to need you. Come on now. We need some help out here. Give me fighters. Move, 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 move. We're losing the fighter battle. I need more. Yeah, they are. I don't know why this guy's not. He is just not interested in moving. Keep moving up, move up. I need help here. Oh gosh, they're bringing in reinforcements too. Watch it. Anakin, don't. <laughs> Do not. We need you in this battle. Come on, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Drive to the core. Focus fire on the malevolence. Keep up with your fire. Keep pushing up. Keep pushing up. We're doing okay. Cover those Arc 170s, interceptors. 
Do what you can here. Let's see what else I got. Oh, I got a mess of fighters up top. Go, Ties. We need you. Meet shields. Go. V wings. Go. Arc 170s. Go. Don't move as fast as the slowest unit. Just go as fast as you can. Hard burn all of your engines. Go assist our troops. Buddy, you are not very competent, Mr. Star Destroyer. You are not moving quick enough. I need you to keep moving. Don't even do an attack move. Just move. <laughs> he's not. Yeah, this guy, he, he's a true Imperial right there. I just need as many men as possible moving there. Got a reinforcement somewhere. So. Oh, 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 let me get these upgrades real quick. Oopsie daisy. All right, let's check the battle. How we doing here? Not great. Oh, gosh. The fighter battle is a little bit, yeah, it's a little tough. A, a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. I think the bombers are going to go. They're going to die. Oh, boy. But they are, hey, you know, they probably could do a lot of damage. They're just slow. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my gosh. Hard burn your weapons. Unload on them. They're bringing reinforcements. The droids have brought a lot of reinforcements. We're going to need help. Oh, beautiful. We've got a lot of reinforcements. Come on, keep moving. This is the Coruscant Defense Fleet. Just keep going, we're losing Venators. Oh my. Alright, we got these Venators over here. Switch around. Give me some of those guns, open up. Beautiful, good work, good work. All right. I need more fighters. More fighters on me. Push to that position. Arkwin 70s are a little... I can't access them. Oh, wow. Do these V-19s and TIE fighters take out that... That munificent on their own? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, not bad. Go, push up. I need all of you moving in. I need every single ship with a gun. Even if you have one single gun, I need you in this battle. We're pushing them to the end of time. Oh, we took out the Malevolence! Oh, the Pride of the Court defeated the Malevolence. I didn't even see. <laughs> Excellent work. Good stuff. Keep moving. We're pushing them back. We're pushing them back. Good job. Oh, they're still bringing in reinforcements. Oh my gosh. And we're spawn killing them. Oh wow, that was a beautiful kill. Nice job. Excellent, open up. Open up, open up. Hmm. <laughs> Man. They were taking out civvies. Oh, no, no, no. We're losing a Venator. Oh, no. Oh, this one's going to go soon, I think. If we don't take out that one Munificent, we're going to lose a Venator. Oh, my poor, poor UCS Venator. Buddy, hang in there. Oh, no, my gosh. Wow, can that... Really? Really? He's still standing! He lived! <laughs> he lived! Oh my gosh! The admirable Venator survived to fight another day. Wow! We lost two Venators, but they lost 43 Munificence! What a battle! What a great start! My gosh! 
Alright, so coming out of the battle, uh, the game gets extremely laggy, which is why today's video is probably going to have a lot of cuts. So what I'm going to be doing is just kind of fading around here and there. But this is what our map looks like so far. So we just defended Coruscant. In like the, the moments between this episode and the last, in an attempt to get them to attack Coruscant, I did lose the Skako. Uh, space orbit. Let me turn on all the things a la Captain Shack style. So it was an amazing battle of Coruscant, courtesy of our moderator on the Discord server um, for his dare, Admiral Curse, and then uh, through the amazing Luigi Bro 2424, him helping me out do that, um, helping me do that. But we've got a few things we got to deal with. We got to take out the Skako space orbit single hyena bomber that's there and then we also have um for some reason a droidica on top of abrogado ray i think they're trying to mount up an assault for the ground so i'm going to try to push that with these acclimators right here on fondor um see if i can throw those in actually let me just get some venators moreover we've got uh we lost the space battle on geonosis or i i tried to lose the space battle on geonosis multiple times in an attempt for them to um uh, be more aggressive so i just allowed them to take that they couldn't take the ground of course so hey, it is what it is um but besides that we've got what we've got five planets to take over and then three more space orbits to go for so i'm going to definitely try to take out abrogato race first so here's an example of the Okay, never mind. So it's not not that bad when I when I'm talking, but after battles usually it gets extremely bad. I gotta wait about five minutes. That's kind of what we're gonna be working with today. Except that battle for some reason. <laughs> oh please no. Oh no, why why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? Now is not the time to attack. Uh do I have yeah, I've got ground forces that I will bring to lock. They're probably gonna attack. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna capitalize on this. So one of the greatest strategies in Empire at War, I don't think I've ever said this, is you need to capitalize on um, for instance, you know, the AI or really Dave's advances. So whatever fleet they bring um, into battle. So let's say they're attacking Ryloth from, for instance, Geonosis, which I don't know if they are, it doesn't matter. If they're attacking Ryloth from Geonosis, that means that Geonosis is left open. What I can do is, whether or not I win the Ryloth space, I know that for a certain short period of time, Geonosis is going to be left undefended for the most part because that's how the Empire or War AI works. Except I think with Awakening of the Rebellion where they're a little bit more calculated. So what I'll do is I'll try to pincer them using a different fleet, take that out, and then try to see if I can salvage the fleet from Ryloth that um, was defeated and then combine that with that on Geonosis and then fight the next planet over. It's called capitalizing on the advantage. And that's kind of, kind of something that, oh, I swear if I lose, thank God, okay. That's kind of a big strategy of mine. It's just that I don't really want to do it. I didn't want to use it too often in um, this series just because I want to make sure it was challenging for me, you know? Big part of the fun of this series was just the the difficulty of it. Now we've kind of, we've definitely done extensive victories. We've definitely won quite a bit. I just didn't want to cheese uh, Dave too much. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to win too quick. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I should not have put you on attack move. I am so sorry. Keep moving. You're probably going to die. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm in control of you. Let's just... Let's just... Oh, gosh. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We secured it. <laughs> hey! Would you look at that? So we've got... We're just moving in with gunships. That's just how we're going to do things today. We're just going to bring in the gunships. Let me get one squad of infantry just in case. So I don't... Uh, accidentally lose the homies but yeah no we're, we're just gonna we're gonna go crazy here with the gunships bring in the star wars equivalent of helicopters go 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 do that do your thing good good open up infantry watch it oh did you really have to bring in the artillery first oh my gosh of all the things you could have brought in first, it had to be the artillery, huh? Look at this. Look at the <laughs> the Imperial Army troops. Amazing. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's get grooving. You can leave that guy behind. 
Keep going, keep going. Don't take those out. Focus on that, sh uh, not shield, the power generator. Look at that. See, we've, we've learned to be very efficient with our air units. Air units in Empire War generally are extremely overpowered. But um, as you can see, they, they also have a, a natural counter, which would be other air units. The um, HMP gunship, the Separatist equivalent of this one, is faster, has better turning radius and everything. It's just a really good ship. And that can take out my gunships quite effectively. It's just that Dave didn't really use it as much as he should have, probably. Which, again, Dave is an AI. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, he is an AI. I like to personify things. I've always been that type of person to really, to really be quirky. And so I guess I am a little, a little quirky quirky with that one. Uh, where is... Ah, there we go. We got some infantry moving around. Come on, boys. We got infantry here. Beautiful. Good victory. Let's see if I'm going to lag after this one. If so, it'll just be a quick fade for you guys. Control okay, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why it's going so well right now. Uh, Tatooine, how's your... Oh. Excellent. That is... That's a... Completely doable fight. Let's... Oh! Oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm going to definitely take that. Ryloth. See? See? Actually, <laughs> my strategy was used against me because they capitalized on me, kind of. Well, not really. Never mind. Can I defeat this is the real question. Uh, Pooh, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a hypervelocity gun. Five dreadnoughts, two venators. Oh, my dreadnought fleet was on its way. Two venators. A few support ships, blah blah blah, against four Lucre Hawks, two Providences, two Sabbath Destroyers, and one Recusant. I don't know. I don't know if I can 100% defeat them. We'll see. The tough part for this battle will be the Starfighters. Uh, that's going to be the hardest part here. All right, everybody, here's the plan. Everyone retreat back to the space station. It's got a value of essentially um, a couple Venators, I think. This is level three. Yeah, it's pretty much the equivalent to two Venators. Got a lot of fighters coming in. We're definitely going to have to deal with those. Here's the plan. My CR 110s or CR 90 equivalents, I'm going to have you just do a quick run. So this is... Um, this is a way I use my Corvettes. Oh, well, that's not a good way. Nope, abort the mission, abort the mission. They have too many. Too many rockets, too many rockets. Oh my gosh. Those fighters are insane. Okay, everybody, here's the plan. They're going to send in a swarm. We need to survive said swarm. Once they send in that swarm, oh no. <laughs> we don't have enough anti-fighter. All right, we got to flank them. Reposition troops, reposition. We have to see if we can get a battle line going. Get a battle line down south, see what we can do here. Oh gosh. Nope, nope, don't don't do that. Pull over here. You buddy turn around, put all your guns in range, start overloading your guns. Boost up your shields. Anti-fighter support, start providing some anti-fighter. Uh, fighters, do some light fighting. Don't get yourselves in too much of a pickle, though. I know you will, unfortunately. Fighters, stay close to the fleet, but open fire. Fire at will. Poor Will, man. Poor guy. Uh, boost up those shields. Even though your shields are not the ones that are going to get hit. Come on, reposition yourselves. Give me some fighter assistance. I'm going to need some help over here. Oh my gosh, those hyena bombers. Jeez Louise. My goodness gracious. They're just insane. The fighter spam is so good. It's so effective. Keep pushing around. 
We're gonna attack move. The gunships are definitely like the most successful when it comes to fighting against other fighters and durability, I believe. Um, oh, I can heal this guy too. Oh, gosh. You know, I gotta tell you, this game, this this series, it, I think it's turning a year old, actually. I know it's turning a year old. January 22nd, 2023. And it definitely made quite an impression on me. So much so that I bought a UCS. Lego Star Wars Venator Star Destroyer. I bought a massive piece of plastic or collage of plastic just because this series had that much of an impact on me so oh turn around turn around go 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 get out of there i had so many of my classmates bring up the fact that i have a youtube channel it's 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 so funny um just how impactful this series has been for me and it definitely is something i should probably focus on the battle here we'll talk more sentimental later um all right everybody keep <laughs> just keep moving Oh, we opened up. We got him. All right, here's the plan. I want all Arc 170s. Start firing on that Luker Hawk. Take out his hangar bays. Next, I want you to start opening up on that supply ship. Let's keep moving. We're going to flank them best we can. Bring up our DPS. You guys got to move up. Move up fast. Give me a V-19. You guys don't fall too far. Don't stray too far. Hard burn all of your guns. You do the same. Keep using that DPS. Alright, brilliant. Oh, this is going to be tough. Alright, we got to get that fighter problem out of here. I'm going to send you guys on a dangerous mission, but I need you to do it. Take out this hangar bay. If you can do that, excellent work. Good job, boys. Alright, alright. I mean, Y-Wings out here, they've got a lot of problems. we got a lot of issues here. You guys move out. Move out before that Providence really targets you. Boost weapons. If you can pull back if you can. Excellent. Good reinforcements. Got a couple victories. I wish I got a Venator, to be honest. Venator would have been great, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. Good job. Successful retreat. Corvette, move around. You keep guarding the shipyard. Alright, let's get this Dreadnought out of here. Push you up. Good job, Bombers. Alright, good flank. Keep moving. Let's flank them again. Take out that Sabbath. We gotta save our ships. Good job. Open up on this guy if you can. Use those long range guns. Ah, we're losing our ties. Pull back. V19s. Go after those guys. Nope. Get out. Ties. Ah, oh, shoot. Why'd I do that? I shouldn't have pulled them out. What am I doing? Watch it, watch it. How we doing? Okay, we just got a problem with fighters. Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it! Brilliant! Bring everyone over, come on. Take out these fighters. Take them out so we don't have to deal with them next time. Oh my gosh, we actually did it! Excellent work. <laughs> ah, ooh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Excellent work. That was a fantastic, fantastic defense. My goodness. You can see a little bit of the lag, but it's it's manageable right now. It's manageable. Let's see what I got. Mostly ground forces. So, I think, I think they're going to retreat from Tatooine. The problem is, ah, oh gosh. If they retreat, I retreat. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with this game, but it's it's just such a strange glitch that I have to be the one to retreat when when Dave is the one who actually does it. Oh, oh well. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna try to. Do I want to bait them? Oh, this is gonna be foolish. 
Alright, well, we're gonna be foolish right now. We're gonna bring a one ISD. Oh, I see those ground forces. No, 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 no. All those ground forces. Alright. Nope. Nope. Send everybody in. Send everyone in. I know Dave is gonna retreat. I know he's gonna try to retreat. I can't. I can't risk it like that. Bring in as many troops as we can. We're gonna. We're definitely gonna take some losses too. Oh me, oh my. But if we can saturate our guns and aim at those ground forces, we should be doing pretty Gucci. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is so difficult with this game. Is is the fact that that when he retreats, I'm gonna be the one who retreats. When he retreats, my troops are the ones that fall back. It's so strange. But bada bing, bada boom. Welcome the Republic. <laughs> Commander Rooster is here. <laughs> Hello. I am here. <laughs> Hello. I'm so excited to be uh, part of the battle today. Um, an absolute pleasure. <laughs> I want all guns opening up. Did I just lose a ship? Was that mine? That was mine. <laughs> hey, I lost a Mon Cala ship. Would you look at that? That's probably why they defected to the rebellion. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just keep taking out those ground forces. Focus on them. We're going to be the reason why Dave tries to retreat. We don't want him to retreat, but we know he's going to. Gosh, this is worse than the Battle of Coruscant. <laughs> These losses are atrocious. I should probably bring in some, like, reasonable forces. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I could put a Venator right here. There's some more hard cell transports. Oh, boy, look at that. See, he's trying to retreat. What did I say? Hold on, pause. I got four seconds here. I've got four seconds. Bring in all the rest of the ships. Okay, so I just lost the Star Destroyer, I think. Whatever damage you could do. Okay, so he retreated, but... Oh my gosh, I think I was the one who retreated. <laughs> every time. This happens every single time. Is that Dave is the one who retreats, but then... Uh, never mind! Oh, okay, today's my lucky day. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save just because of that. Good stuff, folks. That's what I'm talking about. This is a fantastic episode. What's going on today? Oh my gosh. Where are where are some of my funny bunnies here? I've got oh I've got Tarkin. I need you to do me a favor real quick. We've got some forces on Skako that I need to take out. Tactical battle imminent training. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, amidst the lag, Dave has forsaken me. He's brought in. Oh boy, I'm trying to build up some galactic marines for the next attack. He has brought in a lot of troops. Uh, oh, I've got some wolf pack too. Oh, excellent, and oh, I wish I could just bring you guys over while I'm paused so I can move this entire ground force this way. <sighs> Fine, alright, let's defend, let's defend Tatooine. I don't have a space station up, so this is, this is just seven Venators versus a lot of Lucre Hawks. Oh boy. Let's see what I can do here. I have a shuttle for some reason. Interesting. Big trouble. Pull all the bombers back. It's good that we have the dreadnoughts up front, actually. They can do a brunt. They can do a lot of the damage. Or they can take a lot of damage. Pull back the acclimator. You can't do a lot. I need the dreadnoughts up. Bring these dreadnoughts up. Oh, I know they are. We're gonna get that fighter swarm coming up first. Watch it. 
Try to make sure you deal with them first. You deal with them best you can. That's the Imperial Acclimator, I just realized, not the standard one. So it can take a little bit more damage, um, but not not an extensive amount. All right, I got Y-Wings. Oh, no. This is going to be a tough battle. I can't even bring the Y-Wings in. No. All right. Arc 170s is going to be a real tough mission, but you got to do it. It's going to be a tough job. You have to somehow get to that Lucre Hawk and take out its hangar. Meanwhile, I want to see if these gunships can take out the hangar bay of this droid carrier. Oh, man. They're sending in a few missiles, but I don't know if they can make it through that swarm. Oh, hey. Well, look at that. All right. Looks like they made it through the swarm. Good. Good job. All right, take out its shields. Don't let it take out. Don't take out the engines, though. I, I I need it to be able to move so it can push up. Even if they retreat, that's fine. Um, it's just gonna be a tough one. All right. Huh, for them, actually, things went bad to worse for them. Bring in the Y wings. Once you take out that Sabbath, it's the only one that still has hangar. All right, I want the two back Venators to start pushing up. Meanwhile, Y-Wings, commence bombing run. Oh my, what a battle. Ooh, this Syntax won't know what hits him. Ooh, ooh! Excellent work. Alright. Good job, good stuff, good job, Y Wings. All right, finish him off. The Y Wings will need some assistance, likely. Or not, I guess. I guess they. Oh, yeah, they do. I need some fighter support. Look at the viewings. Ooh. You missed. What are you doing? Oh, they're fast. Oh, those things are fast and tough to hit. Gosh. Those are the proto ties. All right. I want a good bombing run. Good dive. Good dive. Now watch out. <laughs> I told him to watch out. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a whole lot of fighters that are retreating. The real question is, let's see if I'm retreating. Alright, let's see. Am I retreating? That was a really good defense, though. Fantastic. Oh, nice. We're in. Okay. Time to commence ground assault. I'm gonna take this, this whole group right here. I'm gonna take them all. Tactical battle imminent. Oh, Fondor? What the, oh, wow, okay. And the malevolence? Oh my, <laughs> I don't even have a single Venator there. Oh, me, oh my. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> okay. At least I got a fleet. Um. Oh, no. Hit the, hit the malevolence. Yeah, you got its shields. All right. Oh, yeah, they will. And now we've got some trouble. Start giving us bonuses. Move around. Move the ships. All right, so this space station is worth at least like three or four Venators. We just have to defend it. We just have to surround our, or pretty much use it as a, a tank. Is that, is that the fleet I get? I guess that it. 
I get a few dreadnoughts. Your orders, General. Scramble. Reinforcements on route. Oh, Wait, oh boy. That was not a good defense fleet. Okay. Okay, I got a Venator. Oh, jeez, this is not lucky. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Alright, turrets, you're gonna get swarmed quick. Unfortunately. We need more than that. We need a whole fleet. Not reinforcements. We need a whole fleet. I wonder if I wasted that. Um, that shot. You know, maybe not. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I need something that's not going to assist too much in the battle. There's something that I can pull out of the battle real quick. I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to try to cheese Dave as much as possible. I don't think I'm going to win this battle, unfortunately. No, no, no. I don't think I'm going to win. However, I think I can try. Hey, focus fire on that, buddy. Okay. Take that guy down. Oh, actually, don't go. Don't strike too far. Who's taking damage? What? Oh, gosh, there's so many subsystems. Which subsystem out of the thousands? See if I can take out the malevolence with the hypervelocity gun only. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Hit him. Okay, good, good, good. I just need one more shot. Okay, here's the plan. We just need to save as much time as possible. That's all we have to do. We have to we have to make as much time as possible for that hypervelocity gun to take out the malevolence. If we do that, there's a potential for them to retreat. It's not guaranteed, but at least we can take out the malevolence through that. Make time. Everyone make time. We need to give our troops or we need to give our, our, our ground forces as much time as possible so that we can potentially take out the malevolence. Buy as much time as possible for them. Hard burn your guns. Gosh, you lost your shields like that. Come on, buddy. Space Station, we need more of a fleet. This is not enough. Gosh, it must look terrifying over here. Yeah. Like a tiny fleet there, but it's, it's not nearly enough for this... Huge fighter force. Look at all those dots. All of those are enemy fighters. Every single one is an enemy fighter. Barring a tiny few. That's crazy. We got the malevolence. It's in range now. It's going to start opening up soon. Do what you can here. Do what you can. Can't really pull any crazy maneuvers either. It's just waiting on that hyper velocity gun best I can. Oh, watch it. Come on, come on. Go around, try to reinforce these guys if you can. Good job, Arc 170s. Excellent work. He's starting to open up. He's starting to open up. Oh no, okay. Okay, we need that hypervelocity gun. Stat. Come on now. His shields are getting boosted too. Come on. Once I get the hypervelocity gun, I can take out the malevolence. Come on, come on. Come on, hyper velocity gun. Come on now. Come on, we're right there. We're right here. Come on, come on, come on. That's a hit. That's a hit. Second malevolence is down. We took him out. All right. Good. 
Excellent. All right, now here's my plan. I want all Arc 170s to pull out. Everyone pull out. If you can pull out, oh gosh. I just need to buy time for another hypervelocity shot on something that's damaged. Just repair everything, repair everything. I got another Venator? <laughs> I got another Venator! That's amazing! <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious. All right, Ty's run for it. Cover them. Make an absolute run for it. Who is there that's damaged that I can hit? You're not. Oh, is nobody, like, extremely damaged right now? Ah, oh, that's too bad. I don't think I have anybody that I can really hit to, like, a great extent besides, hey, a bulwark. This is munificent. Yeah, I could take that out, too. I could try to fire on the bulwark, but I don't know. We'll see. Hide in this corner. Okay, where's that bulwark? Where is he? Where is he? Fire. Oh, that didn't kill him! Crap, okay. We're gonna... Oh, no. I should have aimed for the Providence. What have I done? Oh, no. Okay, make a break a run. See if you can just, just you know, subtly, <laughs> just kind of run away. General, let's go. I've got them in my sights. I got one. All of you just keep running. Go after the stragglers. Regroup for a couple of attacks. Yeah, take out those vultures. They're killing too many of you. Oh, run. Oh, man, that gunship is down. Okay, I got a hypervelocity gun. Now I just have to somehow pass through this vulture droid spam. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try my best. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, that is so sad. Anybody got... Oh, crap, is there anything else? Anything else? Anybody else? Is that the deadish one? Oh, I, I don't think I can... Uh, nah, nah, just go for the Providence. Woo! Good kill. All right. And that's it. That's the end of this battle. All right. At least I got that Providence in the end. Uh huh. How am I going to take out Fondor? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I can. Oh, gosh. But I'll. I'll there's a the potential for me to lose Duro. Oh, hey. Coda. Buddy, Coda. Go save Fondor. You have enough. I just need to use the hypervelocity gun. Go replace Coda, Plokoon. Indeed. Meanwhile, you ground forces, I'm going to need you to get over to Tatooine or Geonosis. The lag. The lag's too much. Get over there. Building started. All right, all right, good. All right, I got five Venators versus two. Okay, I, I can do this. I can win this. This one, this is doable. We just need a really good battle line to take out those fighters. All right, good start. Coda, use the liberation. We'll get there, sir. Calculating trajectory. We shall arrive short. Contact. Trajectory plotted. Calculating trajectory. Alright, we'll keep.
keep it as three right now. I don't want him to retreat. Dave, you're not retreating yet. Don't do it. Yeah, we got a lot of enemies in range. Watch out, keep that battle line active. Keep up with that fire. Hmm. I need eyes on that Lucre Hulk. I need to see how damaged he is. Golly gee, folks. Golly gee. I'm in the things right now. I'm in the things. I have some I have some crazy stories I want to tell too while I'm at it. Um but hang on, let me let me focus up first. It's always funny. Sometimes I'll be in the storytelling mood, and other times I'm in a. Um, I'm in more of a. Oh, absolutely not. I'm in a, like just super hard focus on the game type of mood. It, it just, just depends on the day, I guess. Just depends. Good, good. Got that hanger. Let's get this one. Focus up on this hanger bay. Seems like they're dispersing. I wonder why. So I got his shields next. Then open up on his guns over here, his point defense lasers. Just keep firing on him. Don't let him have any laser cannons that can take you out. All right, who's firing? We got a bulwark. What else? All right, enemy magnificent. Get that bulwark shields down. If you do that, then I'll be able to hypervelocity gun him away. Good job. All right, go after the magnificent next. That bulwark is a sitting duck. Good. Bulwark's down. Just got to finish him off now. All right, give me eyes, Venator. There we go. We got Trench. All right. Broadside him. Ah, you didn't expect this, huh? Ah, yes. All right, Arcs. Don't let him escape. Take out his engines. Give him some of your beams. And then open up on him. Good job. Alright, now we've got two Lucre Hawks left. One of them I hit with a hypervelocity gun, I believe. Let's push up that fleet. Alright. Keep it up, keep it up. Good job. He still thinks he can win, probably. Let's see, uh, Munificent. Another bulwark. Alright, we know the drill. Go after that bulwark shields. Once you take out the shields, I can hypervelocity cannon him away. I want all the fleet moving in. Oh, don't pull, though. Keep going. Good. Now take out that Munificent. Bulwark. Shields. I have them now. I'm on them. Coming around. Incoming's too heavy. Incoming's a little bit heavy, but shouldn't be too difficult for you to take out. It's a Luca Hulk right there. Alright, boys, you're already in the thick of things. Just go after that Luca Hulk. Take out his hangar bays, and then we'll go for his engines next. Good. Good, good, good. Keep going. What did Coda just say? <laughs> Wait, what did he just say? What the heck was that? Alright, keep pursuing them. Alright, his engines are not though, so keep moving. Ready for another 
reinforcements. Your orders, General. Triangulating target intercepting. Curve around. What do you see? Cody, you fire too, yeah. Good job. Take out his shields. They gotta go. What is it? <laughs> All right, Argon 70s, you don't have to retreat. Look at that beautiful battle. So, yeah, like I said, my microphone broke <laughs> when I was intending to record over winter break. I was supposed to get the penultimate episode and the the final episode on the last day, but no, my microphone just decided to randomly break. So I had to buy a new one. Ridiculous. It was just so random. But I should have expected it to be honest. Um, the place I bought it from, the, the Best Buy that I bought it from, um, is not my usual. So I, I guess they just didn't, <laughs> I don't know, uh, I guess that's placebo. But I just got unlucky, I think I got a lemon for my microphone, which I still love. And I, it, it's taken me so far with this YouTube channel, so I'm not, uh, I'm not very vexed at all or anything like that. Um, but I had to get a replace which delayed the, the ending to the series a little bit. Moreover, I wanted the Battle of Coruscant. I promised our Discord moderator that I'd do it, and so I did it, but it took a while. It took a little while, but thank God we did it because that was a fun, fun battle, fun engagement. Let me save real quick, oh boy. Right, so <clears throat> you can see I've got, I've got so many saves for it, and um, yeah, ooh. Ooh, look at that, ground forces. Um, I had done um, Under construction. a lot of work in the background for this episode. And so that also took some time. And on top of that, I just started school. I started school up again. The semester already like bada bing, bada boom, very quickly started. And so because of that, you know, I, I, I just got all of my time was taken away. It was all kind of, kind of crazy. Oh, that's a terrible fleet for this one to go up against. Ooh, it's only dreadnoughts. Okay, we need, we need a lot of Carex. We are going to need a lot of Carex. Give me some Carex so we can probably break down those hyenas. One at a time, essentially. All right, Galactic Marines are prepping up. I've got some of the uh, wolf pack being purchased. Maybe some... We can do 501st as well. No, Obi-Wan, Anakin, get the 501st, the 212th. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. Ridiculous losses, but you know, it is what it is. Obi-Wan and Anakin, I need you to get to core lag. I'm on my way. There we go. soldiers. To go help out and get some more troops, train some more units, and we should be almost ready to go. So I think the final battle will be on Corellia. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, do we have an enemy fleet coming? I just saw them split up some forces, I think. 71 Munificence, my god! So yeah, I gave Dave quite the boost. Uh, yeah, I, I made him quite the effective fighter uh, in terms of his compliment. Reason being is, wow, that's just so many hyena bombers. I can't do anything about that. Reason being is I couldn't get him to attack Coruscant. So I really had to buff him up and everything, and it wasn't working. And so it was just a lot of effort. And I finally did it, but it also took quite the sacrifice in terms of, um, you know, I had to make sure he was eager enough to do it and confident enough, which means I got a lot of units to fight in these next few battles. Oh man, we have Dave moving about. I see him. He is moving quick. So he's trying to, oh no. We got troops coming to Skako. We got troops coming to Alderaan. Oh my gosh, this is, okay. See, like I said, he's very aggressive and he's pulling some major laser counter attacks here. They're not working because I, I've defend. Oh wow. Oh wow. I got quite the defense fleet, and he's got quite the attack fleet, but he's probably going to retreat, so pull. Does Ayla have... Okay, so she has a Starfighter too. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Everyone, just keep, just go in, move in. Dave is probably likely going to retreat, so I need all of you to aim for those engines. Ayla, try to take out as many fighters as possible. Oh wow, this is this is Tarkin's fleet. Oh my gosh, look how many commanders there are. <laughs> I wonder if these guys stack. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. We need to take out those engines. We can manage these droids. Let's finish them. Alright, gunships. Let's see if you guys can do some dam nope, okay, you can't do any damage. Uh let's let's take out the Providence then, huh? We can't oh yes we can. Beautiful. There you go. That is such a strange thing to say. Why would you say that? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This this battle is quite the mess for them. Look at <laughs> Dave is taking quite the yell. We've got gunships opening fire. Moving in using their concussion missiles. I mean I'm losing a few things, but for the most part, eh, not 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 the worst. Just keep firing. Wow. Yeah, so like I said, I started school again. I uh, started the semester and you know it's 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 a good time to be back. Uh, I, I love winter break, though. I gotta say, you know, it was a wonderful time for me being at home with my family again. I was able to get the Venator, <laughs> you know, the thing. Uh, I was able to just be happy and, and stuff, and it was it was lovely. And you know, those those moments are temporary, of course. They're, they're supposed to be, you know, just like everything. Everything in life is temporary, but um, I enjoyed it. And so now that I'm back at school, I was I was. Oh my gosh, they, they hit us real hard, real quick. So we um, we were given assignments like the Sunday for school. We had a pre-lab and it, it took about like six or seven hours on average to do. So let's say I got back to school at um, 5 p.m. and then started the assignment at uh, 7, right? I didn't finish till 1 or 2. <laughs> and I had to get up at 7.30 a.m. And so my classmates and I were quite frustrated, very much so, you know. We knew this would be a tough semester in pharmacy. Uh, it is a, it is known to be, like, an extremely difficult semester, maybe even the most difficult. But um, our professor, we've met him before, but we have a lot of professors who rotate and stuff with us. He was kind of frustrated with, with us. He was like, why are you guys not energetic? What's... What's the problem? How am I more energetic than you? And I woke up at 4.30 a.m. And this girl was not having it in class. She was she was very angry with what he said. And so she was like, um, well, what time did you wake up? Oh, no, no, sorry. What time did you go to bed? And he was like, um, like nine. And she was like, oh, really? And, and he said, yes, how about you? And she said, I didn't sleep because of your pre-lab. <laughs> we like, yo, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that, yeah, it was, it was a little bit difficult. Now, I will posit that th there is a necessary, you know, uh, it's understandable why it was hard. It wasn't based on accuracy, it was something based on completion, and we're, we're all gonna get full credit. It's kind of to our fault. It's kind of our fault that we put so much effort into the homework assignment or the pre-lab, when really we should have just tried our best, maybe not put in as much time, have some fun with it, and then once we get the, um, once we get the answer key, then we can kind of really get into it. I understand her frustrations though, because my gosh, I did not sleep very well that night. You know, and starting the semester off like that, our, our last didactic or academic semester in college, like that is, is a little bit extreme, I will say, but it was very funny. And I, I actually really like that professor. He's a, he's a great guy. Uh, I text him. Yeah, I was texting him 
uh, asking him, like, when can we get the uh, answer key? And he was explaining uh, that we'll get it on Friday, and I was like, oh, cool. So I, I have nothing to worry about. Yeah, it took me a long time, but at the end of the day, I, I learned. You know, it was kind of frustrating how I couldn't start the semester off as well as I wanted to, but I've had some really good semester starts and everything, and it all ends up being the same. You know? Middle of the semester is always kind of the toughest. The end of the semester, depending on what you do, you know, if you if you did the right things, the end of the semester can be a little bit more peaceful. If you are going to kind of get the grade that you want or going to fight for the grade that you want, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, it's just kind of, I've done this for years now, you know, I, I'm a grad student, a pharmacy student, uh, but I also see where that micro is coming from. So the lesson from this would be, folks, you know, sometimes you're going to have some really difficult scenarios that are just completely out of your control and you, you can't do anything about it. You have to cut yourself some slack and just have fun with things. You know, what do I always say? I've been, I've been giving you guys this, this, guys this lesson repeatedly. And it's to flirt with life. And sometimes that's not just, you know, a saying. It's, it's a defense mechanism. Like, you have to, you have to have fun with things. Because if you don't, then what's the point? You know, you gotta enjoy every second that you're alive because at one one time or you're not gonna at one point, at some point in your life, you're not gonna be as as free or as liberated. Something really bad is gonna happen. These are small things. They're small things, they're frustrating, but we can deal with them. We can handle them. Come on, folks. We got this. Per usual. I mean we learn in life that there are difficult things, but they only make us stronger. They only make us better. And I am probably going to lose this battle, if I'm being honest. Speaking of difficult things, I don't know if I can make this. A uh, fast, heavy frigate with capital ship weaponry. Big punch in a small package. All right. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. He's getting kind of surrounded by these munificents right now. You need to focus on this one. You need to really focus on this guy. He is He's doing a number to you. Oh, wow. Your missiles are not effective. Like, not at all. All right, all right. See what we can do here. Oh, thank goodness. Yes! Venators, this is what I needed. Oh, yes. With fighter support. Oh, good, good, good. And they're overlapping right now. Just open up. Take out as many munificence as you can, as you can. Use the fighter advantage troops. That must have been so beautiful for these, for the dying fleet here. They get to die. They die, but they get to, they get to die knowing that, uh, that, uh, that a fleet came in. That reinforcements arrived just in time to save the rest of everyone. Save everyone else's skin. Apologies if I, if I, if my comprehension <clears throat> is a little bit quirky like I said we're not sleeping very much because the semester started so it's just kind of a busy time for me a lot of work to be done you know it's it's a fun time and again no uh, like hard feelings toward that professor I, I appreciate him helping me you know I was texting him and stuff so I'm all Gucci I'm all good that's what we gotta do guys that's what we gotta do um, speaking of which, um, Dave, the actual Dave, I have a friend who's, who's like playing as Dave, his, his real name is Dave, on, or David, his real name is David, on our Discord, <clears throat> he, great friend of mine, a lot of the guys on there have been teaching him how to play Empire War, <laughs> and they have like a fan base for him and everything, it's very cute. He, uh, he graduated. And so coming back to the semester without him, because he was like my right-hand man, it's crazy. You know, I, I really miss him. I really appreciated having him around. And it's just wild not having him join me at the gym. And, you know, it, it's, it's definitely a new experience or a different experience. I will posit, though, that it makes what you, what you share with that person special when they're, when they're gone. I mean, he's not dead. He's coming back. This weekend he's visiting. I think I just hit my microphone. Apologies. He's coming back this weekend, but you know, <clears throat> it's just something where that distance that you have with someone, even if it's temporary, makes you really appreciate them more. With that said, uh, I worked out instead of with Dave. I worked out with 
um, some other friends, and my gosh, it was, it was still beautiful. You know, it was still amazing. There were so many of them who joined me today. It was, uh, it was seven of us, or uh, six of us working out, and my girl came just to be with me. It was, it was lovely. It was very nice, and I was quite enthused. I, I really enjoy those types of moments where people really show that they care about you. And those are the people who deserve to stick around, or those are the people that you hope stick around, that, that you want to stick around, that you, that you respect and care about. Because if they if they treat you very well like that, gosh, you can't lose them, man. You don't want to. They, they deserve the world. And they most certainly do. Them coming to the gym to see me and, and to work out with me and the, to learn, it, it's, just, it's just great, man. And they teach me stuff, too. It's just, it's just great. Am I dying? I'm very much dying. I'm losing the space station, but I'm not losing heart. No, no, no. <clears throat> oh, but we are, we are about to take some fire from these these fighters right here. Good, good job. Are you healing up? Yes, you are. Take out those last munificents. Oh no, there's another. Alright, the fighters are, are putting in that work. Oh my gosh. Oh, these poor. These poor two guys. They are really taking it out here. Alright. Here's the plan. I'm gonna lose the space station. I need you to build up some anti fighter support. We can easily mop up the rest of the munificence with our Venators. But I need things that can take out these fighters. <clears throat> Get over there. Yeah, open up. Oh gosh, those guys are gonna kill you. See, that's not good. That's not... That is not good. Um, okay, thank goodness I've got Arc 170s coming out, but... No, you are not good dogfighters against those interceptors, or those strike fighters. You're just not. You're not capable of dealing with them as well as I would hope. Oh, <clears throat> Alright, what else we got? We got a Munificent there. Munificent here. Each one of you pick your targets. What was that arc doing? Unload on him. Good job. Good, good. Alright, you took both of them out. Excellent job. Excellent work. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I'm not lag- Wow, I'm not lagging here. Okay, alright. So we've got Alderaan being attacked. Let's see, I, I brought- <laughs> Yeah, I knew that Alderaan was under attack, so I just threw in everybody I could. I brought the Pride of the Gore. I brought Sacy Tin. Now, nah, Dave is not going to have an easy time out of here. But we will. We will have an... This should be a wash. This should not be too difficult. Matter of fact, I'm going to push everyone up now. Scanners are picking up droids everywhere. Keep it tight. Keep the soft shell safe. Your orders, General. Ready for orders, Commander. All right. Arc 170s move in. Ready to take them out. Aim for that Luker Hulk. Let's move up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, they're actually breaking through. Oh, they got through. Nice job. All right, go after the next hangar. Just beeline it straight for the hangar bays. Excellent work. Nice job. Good job, Arc 170s. I'm proud of you guys. You take out the hangar bays, you take out the donuts. Nice job, troops. All right, come on now. Take this one out, too. Good job. Next one. Keep moving. 
right of the core can finish the job. You just got to make sure that you take out the hangar bays. Nice job. Look at that. Pride of the Core is taking a lot of damage. What is happening to you, buddy? Looks like everyone must have been targeting him with their, uh, with their many, many hyena bombers. Oh, but this is... Come on now. Look at this. Look at this. Easy. Easy. Keep moving. Just keep going. Push up. Push up. Just bring everybody out. Keep going. <laughs> I love these battles. I'm pretty much just pushing everyone forward. <laughs> Good. Take out the donut. Oh my gosh. We're just absolutely destroying them here. More reinforcements. Excellent. I see that Corvette there. We don't even need him anymore, but okay. Good. Now we've got fighters to deal with. Alright, everybody. Go into battle mode here. You know what? Hunt for enemies. Go for it. By all means, take them all out. Every single one you see... To your discretion. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got some in the corners, boys. <laughs> I didn't even see Stacey Tin in his disgusting fighter. What is this? Is that a Cutlass? What is he doing in that? He doesn't have a Jedi Starfighter. Saber tank on the ground. He's got a Cutlass. What? That must be from Legends. Him having a Cutlass Starfighter. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first uh, first thing I think of, you know, I, in in the 2003 Clone Wars. Kennedy Tartakovsky, he had a standard Republic Starfighter, but hey, you know, to your discretion. I ain't judging. Now, we do need many, many, many more Carracks. As many Carracks as we possibly can have. Okay, we're back in business. Who the heck was that? <laughs> Who's this guy? What was that noise? Okay, we're back in business. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Looks like Locke is finally getting its heroes in. The game is finally loading in. So pretty much what I have to do is I have to wait for the game to kind of de-lag itself. Um, like every five minutes or so. And then it kind of resolves, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta do that like through and through. All right, now it's time to take out Tatooine ground. We've got Ayla Sakura on the ground. We've got a lot of interesting folks in Tatooine, I think. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. All right, here's the plan. Let's do infantry only this time, or infantry and ground, no air. I'm gonna need General Sakura. I want the 327th on the ground. They moved with a lot of, um, a lot of walkers, I think, in um, Revenge of the Sith. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring in quite a few walkers with them. Maybe some Artie as well. Everyone ready? Let's go. Let's move. We've got Ayla. We've got clones. We've got more clones, and we've got artillery platforms. Let's move. Everyone group up. I got a suggestion from somebody that if I hold the right click, I can get formations. Uh, it's a very cool feature in Empire at War, and that's definitely something I'm going to be using in this one. All right. Bring those in. I'm going to need one squad of shinies. I need you to guard up. Okay, maybe two squads of shinies. Who are you killing? Are those Tuscans? I want the shinies to guard the Artie. The artillery is going to definitely have it a little tough. Oh, you see something. Oh, Droidicus. Good hit. All right. Good. We've got our artillery. Right, let's move. Likewise. 
Alright, I've got group one, group two. Oh, we've got incoming. Get up on the hill, get the high ground. Oh gosh, they're already coming at us. We didn't even have to move. Good, good T-pose, good T-pose. <laughs> so one thing that's kind of been on my mind recently um, is, I was telling my, my girl this, one of the things about the start of the semester, especially the, the specifically the spring semester, is, are you killing Jawas? <laughs> Hold up. Artillery, I'm going to have you move a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to have this one move as well. Okay. Set yourself up. Are those Jawas? What are they doing here? The thing about the, the spring semester is that unlike the summer where let's say you start off at like 100% energy, the spring you start off at like 85. And, and that's not an easy number to kind of deal with, especially at the beginning of the semester. And it gets worse toward the end, which is why it's extremely important to have things that uh, recharge you, that energize you, like me with this game and what have you, you know, it's just a wonderful thing that I have. And that's why I'd implore all of you to have something like this, it doesn't have to be YouTube. But it could just be something that entertains you, you know, because I love school, I'm gonna be honest, I really enjoy my education, I love my university, um, I love the major that I chose, I chose well, yeah, I, I chose you gotta stop saying that, Ayla. I chose the right major for me. Oh my gosh, the droids are killing the Tuscans. I chose the right major for me. I'm incredibly happy about that. I'm incredibly proud about that. However, it, it's still it's still something where I have to make sure I am not uh, burning out. Like that's a big thing with school, right? Like there's the potential for burnout. Uh oh, we got Jawas moving in there. Alright, looks like this artillery is going to be working alone. Wow, okay, we really are just taking out the Tuscan Raiders out here. Oh my gosh! This is terrible. Oh wow, is that Mos Espa? Mos Espa Spaceport? That's where Mos Eisley is. Hey! hey. Very cool. I've got a bombing run. Push the, uh, let's push the heavy walkers up front. Combat is a clone's natural element. Clones, watch it. The droids are going to try to take our position. We need to see if we can get those two as well. I only want the best with my unit. Troops, who are you chasing? Follow me. Yes. My lightsaber is ready for I don't expect anything less than Take that out. Yeah. You guys keep moving. Yes, General. Get into position. Oh, there's going to be a firefight. That's that. Defeat is not Oh boy, watch out. Good hit artillery. Good job. Get another one. Nice. Good job. Weapons check. Who are you firing at now? Are you covering your other artillery? Stay frosty. Oh, me oh my. Shinies, watch out. Oh boy. Can you cover this one? Yes, you can. Good job. Good overlapping cover. That's what I like to see. Alright. Likewise. Alright, what do we have here? We got some droids. Good. Scrap metal now. Alright, everybody. Start positioning yourselves. Oh, we got droids taking our command post. We can't let that happen. I might have to send in the bombers. Might have to send in Y wings. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you gonna run him over? Can you run him over? Oh no. Put the bombers somewhere there. Try to see if you can do something. Take that guy out. 
Nice. Get him, get him, get him. Let's move on. Alright. We're proud to serve you, General. Move out, man. Did the bombing run work? Oh, they're still coming in. Oh, what's going on? Get up there. Move up, troops. Move up. You boys don't move too far. We got bombers inbound. Save our command post. So maybe uh, maybe some Z6s ought to help. Oh, direct hit. Beautiful. All right, regroup. Everyone regroup. I want you to position yourself here. What's going on? What's going on? What are you doing? Are those Jawas? That's a Jawa. Oh, that's a sand crawler. Oh my gosh. Seeing a Jedi attack Jawas, that's just so funny to me. Oh, buddy. Yeah, go take that out. Oh, well, you lost your platoon. Oh, boy. Watch it, watch it, watch out. You got Droidicas inbound. Oh, boy. We're split up too far. Take that one out, yeah. You come back toward the, the rest of the unit here. I need to group everybody up again. Alright. Well, one of the clones on that, I want the other Z6 covering the artillery. Let's keep moving. Wow, this is a tough fight. Oh, watch it. Fire, fire. Can you take him out? Oh, no, that's not good. Never mind, you are not as effective as I thought you'd be. I thought you'd do a lot more damage. You probably only do a lot of damage to to B1s. Yet, yeah, no. Oh, we lost Ayla, we lost Ayla. Oh my gosh. All right, group up. That's enough, I've had enough, enough play time. Oh boy. Oh boy, let's see what I can do here. Give me some fast movers. Oh no. Come on, buddy. Right, keep that artillery up and running. You guard it. <laughs> Gosh. Can't do much. Good, but they'll guard you. Good, you can run them over. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Copy that, General. Understood, sir. Good job. Run him over. Well, oh, there's gonna be a fire fight. Excellent work. The enemy. Gosh, that is such a cheesy right mechanic. Alright. Let's move around. I need sir. one unit to fall Telling back. You, Regain ground. Oh, actually, you know what? Bly, I'm gonna have you do that yourself. You've got sprint. All right, Bly. Good luck, buddy. T-pose your way to victory. All right. Good job. Good. General. Pull back. I'm going to have you as yes, group General. three. You guys are so useful, my gosh. All right. Our position is secure. Artillery. We do our job well. Let's Understood, move. Sir. Position yourselves right here. I'm gonna need you. We're gonna move into the city. Oh my gosh, this is a trudge. One eyes on the enemy movement. Oh gosh, why? Where are you, buddy? Oh, oh no, that's a droidica. Uh-uh. Drop some mines right there. Let them get into it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh. Oh, he knows. <laughs> he knows. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Run. Just do it. 
Oh my gosh. This is a tough fight. Cover him, cover him. Did the bombers do it? Oh, hey, he healed. I forgot he's got self healing. Excellent, keep running. Go again, let's see if the bombers did it. Run away. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Fall back, fall back. Not that way, this way, this way. Hmm. Nice, now heal. Beautiful. Good work. Take that out. Take that platoon down. Gosh, they've got a lot of troops on Tatooine. My goodness. I mean, also, I guess, you know, the locals are not very kind. <laughs> We've had some issues with the Jawas, but, you know, I should have brought these fast movers over to help them out, to be honest. I should have done that at the beginning. I don't know why I didn't. There we go. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. All right. Now here. Right, give me some eyes. I see nothing. Whew, thank goodness we got our landing zone back. All right. All right. So now we're back in business. Now we are back. Okay. Here's the plan. I want you to scout out that position for me. I need more troops. As many as possible. Run over them. Uh, okay. Let's get over there. See what we got. Do they have any uh oh anti vehicle? One shot, one kill. Choose your reinforcements. I don't see anything. Never All right. Bring a squad over. Oh, there's gonna be a fire fight. Understood, sir. Prepare to engage the enemy. See if we can capture that position. Right away, sir. On it, sir. Wow, look at all the wildlife. Look at all these guys. They got rats. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we got to go into that city. We can't avoid it. A zone. Excellent work. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to have two different divisions. We're going to have one going straight for the shield generator. The other is going to attack the city. I think this will be enough for the city. I want to set up two here. One, you're going to position yourselves here. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna, you're just gonna be there. Um, oh no, I'm gonna need you here. Guard up the arty. All right, good luck. Good luck on your venture. Let's move on. Other way. Yeah, go the other direction. Okay, now I'm gonna want, I'm going to want a force that's fast enough to get in there and get out. But I don't think that's gonna be how it works. They're probably gonna have some anti-tank. Well, actually, you know what? Let's bring in the wolf pack. It's time we use them a little bit. It's been a while. Let's bring in the wolf pack. Let's get some ATXTs on the ground. And then, um, UTAT. I haven't used that in a while. And then let me get some heavy, heavy troops. Um, Plex and rockets. We're just going to bring in a lot of rockets. While that happens, we're going to move in on the city. Let's go. Bring it in, bring the column. Let's go. I like how the medic, out of Ayla, Bly, and the medic, only the medic is really alive. Bly is, he's pretty much dead. Ayla is actually dead. <laughs> eh, great, we've got an anti-tank. Oh, beautiful, good job. Let's capture that medic. All right, wow, look at this thing. This thing is massive, the, the UT-80. Repulsor. Let's go. Pack it up and move. You guys, I'm gonna need some help in the city. I want the big boys to move in. These are some tall clones. Look at them compared to the other clones. They're like injected with something here. I don't know what's going. Oh, that's a lot of troops. Watch out! Take that thing down. Good job. Thank goodness I had these guys around. Okay, you help out. Alright, watch out for the city. I thought... I thought there were locals here. Are there not? Did we... 
Did we fight all of the locals? <laughs> I'm proud to serve you, General. We do our job well. Did we fight all of them? What? That's interesting, okay. Position the artillery within the city then. You guys are all gonna be a part of three now. Get in there. Let's charge in, push up. We got the wolf pack going in. Plus a whole lot of heavy soldiers in this massive tank. Wish we saw this more in the Clone Wars. It's a very cool thing. Unit destroyed. Yeah, that was to be expected. Get it. I'm actually shocked. Wow, he must have taken out all the locals here. Huh. Well, it's a good thing we use the artillery extensively. Make the attack. Move in. Good fight. We're losing troops, but not an extreme amount. Let's keep going. Combat is a clone's natural element. I hear the most Espa civilians kind of grumbling, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, watch it. Take that thing down. Ooh, ooh no, 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 no. Well, we lost that one. You just ran too fast, buddy. You moved too fast. This one's about to die, too. Bring in the infantry first. Oh, man, that guy. Wow. Get in there, push up. Use the UTATs or ATXTs. Push up, troops. Oh, they're smart. I see that anti-air right there. Ah, ah, ah. These folks know me now. They know I'd go after that air. Nope, take that out. Take the generator. I can bring in the bombers afterward. Gosh, I didn't really... I'm surprised. The column was kind of held to a halt, honestly. Wow. So we got the Tuscan Raiders, the Jawas, Crate Dragons. I didn't even see those. Huh. Um. Now what? What? Is there something else here? What the heck? <laughs> what? So I took out this section. Oh. Oh, we got clone. Oh, we got droids there. Where are the rest? <laughs> now I'll bring in the air. Let me get the air units. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's keep moving around, I guess. Let's keep going. Just kind of, just kind of dance around here, boys. Gunships, I want you to move to the corners. Let's see. Let's see if we find anything here. I love the sound of the gunships. Ah, we see some droids there. We'll take them out with a bombing run. Let's see what else there is. We still got heroes on the ground. Excellent. Good work. Wait, where? 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 He's retreating from where? Where were you? Newt Gunray? You can't even retreat. That's unfair. I want. I don't think the general would approve. <laughs> what? Right away, general. The sep huh. What the heck? <laughs> what? Alright, well. I'll take it. I'll take it. Three more planets left. Christophsis. Rhodia and Corellia. Corellia was our planet at the beginning. I love that. We're we losing our own planet. My gosh. Fighting over our own planet. Hmm. Oh, wow. I'm not lagging. Okay. Ready for order. 
Shadows. You got a whole lot of... Wow, man. That... Available. That is just such a shocking voice. <laughs> Calculating trajectory. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll use you guys. Uh, might as well throw you into battle. Let's see how good you are. All right. It's time for Christophsis. <laughs> it's not as big of a blockade as Trench had in Season 2, Episode 16, Cat and Mouse of Clone Wars, but it certainly is significant with all those fighters. I definitely gave myself a little bit of a handicap, given that I don't have much anti-fighter support in this fleet, but the Rodeo one that's currently en route is a little bit, uh, a little bit better in that regard. So here's the plan. I'm going to do something a little dashing, a little daring. I'm going to bring in my Venators, sure, but I don't want to, um, I'm not going to use it just yet. Oh my gosh, I just lost that. Um, here's the plan. All right. I'm going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit dangerous. Give me Y-Wings. I'm going to try to see if I can just use Y-Wings to break his line. See that one Sabbath Destroyer? They're all gonna die, but I just want to see how effective they'll be. Meanwhile, you're gonna push up. I have a whole lot of support behind you. Those are not the kind of support you need, to be honest. Alright. Alright, Y Wings. I know you're gonna take a lot of fire. That's okay. Go after the shields. Meanwhile, you guys, come on now, you know what to do. You're dreadnoughts. I can't even bring in this Venator. It's 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 hitbox is so <laughs> difficult. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excellent. Looks like the Y Wings are actually doing quite a bit of damage. They're taking a bit of damage too, but hey, yeah, 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 you know. They're doing alright. Take this one shield out. Look at all those fighters. We've got a problem here, and that's them. All my fighters move in. We're gonna need to assist with this fighter problem. Too much of a mess for just one, one group to handle. Let's see, can I bring you in? Where can I bring you in? I don't think I can bring him in anywhere. Okay, somehow I can bring him in there. Okay, good range, Star Destroyers. Let's move. Turn about, troops. Turn about. Oh boy, give me some point defense. Point defense. Turn around, let's move. You're not shooting a single laser. You're the most important ship here. <laughs> we need the Corellian Corvettes. My goodness gracious. Oh gosh. Ooh, head on. Dreadnought versus Munificent. Let's see who'll do it. Open up. Alright, let's see if you can do that. Have you bring your guns around. Don't seem to be doing too much here. You, buddy, I'm gonna have you start attacking. Alright, go after the space station. I lost all of the Y Wings. All of them are gone. Oh my gosh. That is unfortunate. Yeah, all of the Y wings are gone now. Yikes. Oh, but I can bring in a Venator right here. Hello. Right under their nose. Take this guy out. Good job. Open up. Nice job. Oh, ooh, ooh, we're losing this guy. Oh my gosh, they're retreating and just the swarm goes on them. Just 
just light them up. Oh my goodness gracious. This this poor fighter squadron is just like, no, please, why? <laughs> Spare us. <laughs> no, you can't retreat. You can't retreat. Christophsis is ours. Ground forces, however. That's going to be a bit of a toughie. <laughs> I see Django over there. And then this funny guy. <laughs> He's so goofy. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's get Rhodia. <clears throat> this was in Season 1 of Clone Wars. We saw Rhodia with Padme. It was a very interesting episode. The Gungan General. With, uh, with them capturing Newt Gunray. Alright, what do we got? Oh, wow. Oh! Ooh, ground forces again! Look at that! My gosh! Again with the ground forces. Dave, 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 Dave. Dave. This... Just a fatal error, buddy. Fatal error. You know? And I'll take out your fighters too while we're at it. I'll make sure they're they're gone with all these Carricks. I wonder if they named the Carricks after the vegetable carrot. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight up. Yeah, they look like carrots. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, open up. Oh my gosh, all those ground forces. Good lord. Alright. Let's bring this guy in. I don't know who he is. Alright. Who are you guys? Alright, Kerrix. Open up. Take out the rest of the fighters while you're at it, too. His ground forces are... Oh, I just dropped my own ground forces. Okay, it's just a ground force battle. His ground forces are in. My ground forces are in. And now I think they're down. All right. All right. Let's bring in the DPS. So what are you? What do you have? Combat drones. Automated fighters are very fast and impossible to target. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I guess it works. I guess they were automated. What are you? Boy, space mines. All right. Nowhere. It must be on a ship. Very cool. <laughs> I don't know who these guys are. Where to spawn him in? Oh, I can only spawn him. I can only spawn those mines. In close proximity. Oh. What if I bring my ship to it? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Rhodia is down. And Rhodia doesn't have much in the way of ground forces. Christophsis, I'm quite curious about. Look how much money I made. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I really... <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I, uh... Yeah. I had to make sure Dave could fight me. I had to make sure Dave was competent and confident in his ability to fight. So here we go. I got the 212th, some of the 212th. Obi-Wan is with Anakin right now. They're kind of big chilling up top, and I want them to fight on Corellia. So I'll just kind of have them chill there. Um, same with Yoda and Mace. So we're going to have them be the final. In the final push, they'll be there for Corellia. But in the meantime, in the meantime, uh, we're having troops come to Fondor. Again. You're going to Fondor again. Oh, good lord. Alright. Blo, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, with this lag especially, but I'm, I'm hoping you can just kind of get to Fondor before they do. Oh, wait. Oh, beautiful. Perfect time to capitalize. Would you look at that? Where is... Okay, that's the Pride of the Core. I want this fleet. As much as I want to fight with the Pride of the Core, we've used it so often... I want to use the Resolute. It's time to capitalize on this. Wait, do I have... Oh, pause. Pause, 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 pause. Do I have anti-fighter support? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Go. On your order. That's 300 starfighters I see there. 300 starfighters. Construction complete. Just ridiculous. Imminent. All right. 
They're going to try to attack Vondor. I'm going to take Corellia's space then. This is what you get, Dave. This is what happens when you leave your planet undefended. And I, I, I don't know if he's going to retreat. Just a whole lot of fighters now. Bring in the Resolute. I'm just going to have the Resolute sit. <laughs> because what I'm going to need to do... What I will need to do is just take out a bunch of fighters. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to lose the Resolute. I didn't realize he was that competent. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. That was insane. Um, all right. He's got a hypervelocity gun. Let's push up. I'm going to push you guys up. Give me eyes on the fighters. I thought there were 300 fighters. Unless those are ground forces. Oh no, 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 no. No, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Oh man, that's a lot of fighters. Okay. Boys, you're so dead. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. We're just going to need a lot of big punch in a small package type of ship. Uh, just one Venator this time. This is going to be a strange fleet. Because there are just so many fighters, and there are also support ships that are pretty heavy. I'm going to need to use anti-fighter combined with things that can't be hit by the uh, hypervelocity guns. So this is definitely going to be a very, like, rebel fleet. Th doesn't this feel rebellion? Like a, like a rebellion fleet? Like one capital ship and then just a bunch of frigates. Like the fleet on, um, that attacked... Uh, Scarif. I'm also going to bring in some acclimators as well. Um, reason being is I, I just don't want them to attack the Resolute. I think they are going to target it though. So, this is our, our little mess of a fleet here. This is what we're going to use. We're just going to have a whole, whole cast of ships. Alright. This is what we got here. Okay, a bunch of anti-fighter. Oh, hey, ground forces. Oh, not good. Okay, that was smart. Push up. That was a that was a brilliant strategy by Dave. As soon as he got eyes, he, he took out one of my ships. That was smart. Very smart. Oh, Lord. Okay. Gunships, gunships. Start taking out those ground forces. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Okay. Keep moving the fleet. Alright, you keep moving. Alright, all the fighters, here's your plan. Your objective is just to defend the fleet. Okay. Oh my gosh, you actually hit the architects. My gosh. Alright. Look at this fleet though, this feels so much like a typical rebel fleet with just a bunch of support ships and then big boy capital. I love that, just a ton, a ton of engines, a ton of engines. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Use those long range turbo lasers best you can because, good lord, we do not have the tonnage to take out that, provi or that providence. I was going to say core. what am I doing? Are you not a part of this? There we go. Alright. Alright, fleet. Oh, man, all those fighters. <laughs> I don't know what the best idea, best strategy is. Just to push the fleet through or to keep it away from the space station. Oh, gosh. Alright, just keep a battle line right now. Keep a battle line. We got fighters coming into us. We'll just overlap with uh, with each other's guns. Oh, there they are! 
There they are. Oh no. All right, everybody. We need missile jamming. Oh gosh, boost weapons. Oh, you Lauren, do something. Take that thing down before you die. Boost guns. Oh, we lost him. We, we lost you, Lauren. All right, bring in him. Oh, you're not actually. No, never mind. <laughs> kind of don't want you right now. Um, no. I'll take some heavies, but we need mostly anti fighter right now. Some Architons. All right, push up. We need you in the fight. All right. Let's see how well we're doing. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's insane. All right, Arkitans, focus fire. Same with you guys. Focus fire on the space station. We're taking out the fighters slowly but surely. Gosh, guard that fleet, man, guard that fleet. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Look at all the little explosions. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm losing them, too. Oh, man. What a mess. Now bring him in. B bring the big boy in. Alright. Focus on that space station. We need anything with lasers, not turbo lasers, just straight up lasers. I'll bring in a shuttle because it has lasers. Oh, the victories also have ties I can use. <laughs> this is so goofy. <laughs> There are just so many fighters that he's using. Is this a level 5 space station? It is! It is! You can see I even boosted the level 5 to get him. I tried real hard to get Dave to fight. Come on, buddy. Open up those guns. Oh, our ties. Looks like the ties are going in. The tie bombers are just so slow. Come on, come on. I need all fighters in. Everyone needs to be using guns in this fight. Use every single weapon you have. Oh gosh, Corvettes, we're gonna need you to move over probably. We're gonna need you to move over. We got too much. Too many fighters on the other side. I'll have you guys stay here, though. Oh, gosh. There's a Providence there, too. <laughs> oh, I should have been bringing in Venators. They have fighters. What am I doing? And they can take out the Providences. All right, all right. Turn about. Oh my gosh. They are seriously doing a number with all those fighters. And they're just so hard to hit. Oh, and they have a hypervelocity gun. Alright, everybody. Push up. Take out as many as you can. Let's go right in the middle of them. Good job, good job. Let me grab you. Boom. Hit this one. There we go. Beautiful. Come on, Corvettes. Let's get moving. 
See, isn't this just crazy? <laughs> isn't this just insane? Look at those fighters, they're so fast. Because they're retreating. Oh, don't let them retreat. Don't let them retreat with all those fighters left. They don't have many, but oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> I wonder, wait a minute. Oh, beautiful. They might have retreated. But I still got them. Oh, Fondor. Oh, wow. That's the rest of their fleet. Um, 52 Munificents, 2 Lucre Hulks, 7 Recusants. I think this is, this is officially their last space-capable battle. They have nowhere else to retreat to except other places with space forces on them. So, let's do that, shall we? <laughs> let's... Let's take them out. Oh my gosh, they're here. They're here. Okay, they are just... Wow, they're going by quick. Uh, nice. Very nice. Oh, those are just turrets. Those were turrets that we were shooting at. All right. They're not going to have a lot in the way of fighters besides the Luger Hulk. Those two Luger Hulks. They're going to have a lot in the way of DPS. But those, those uh, Munificents are also glass cannons. Otherwise known as... They can put out a lot of damage but they can't take a lot under construction uh well i should have gotten the fighter ones fighters are always going to be the first wave so you should probably put the fighter turrets first but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens here i'm waiting for dave to pull his moves this is uh balls in his court construction complete yes sir Yeah, we got fighters coming in. Just fighters trickling in, though. Hmm. I've got a really solid defense. And I'll get some anti-fighter here to protect this guy at least a little bit. That means I can bring the Corvette and whatnot there. Nope, nope. Venator, don't move. Don't move. Just... Oh, no. Okay, you'll stay there. That's fine. Alright, we've got a very solid defense over here. Ties are probably going to die on the way, though. Alright, since you're going to die, you might as well fight those vultures. All Arc 170s, I need you all group up. Alright. I want all, all Arc 170s down here. Same with the Y-Wings. Get over here quick. We need to take out their fighter capabilities. Once we do that, we can fight our swarm. You see what Dave is doing? He's got his Luger Hulk in the back. He's being very smart. What I'm going to do is challenge him. I'm going to do that by using all of my fighters and pushing them up. Oh, wait. I got an idea. Got it. We took out his fighters. We took out his ability to, to use fighters. All right, fighter swarm. Go, go, go. Push up. We've got the fighter advantage. Make sure we've got a fuzzball around him. All the fighters they're going to be using are going to be ones they pay for for the most part. They've got a lot of munificence though, so watch out. This is going to be a massive battle of attrition here. Mm, I'm going to need some bombers up top. This ties will be routed. Taking a load of fire from the munificents. Nah, get out of there. Oh man, you guys overextended way too far. You really cannot... Oh, you can't survive. Where are you retreating to? Dave, where are you retreating to? Where? You retreat to another planet, which I'm blockading. Where are you going? <laughs> That's my question. Where, where's your, what's your plan? 
You lost nine munificence there. You're probably gonna go to Corellia. Tactical battle imminent. Oh. You went to Christophsis. That was fast. 202 fighters! Against my fleet that has no anti-fighter capability. Okay. Alright. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's do that. Oh no. Alright. That's a big problem. Oh, these guys I can't even move. There are too many of them, honestly. Actually, no, 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 no. I, w I want everyone to go here. Guard. Guard our Venator. The reason why is I want to fight these guys under the protection of a Venator. Under the protection of our fleet, essentially. The more guns we have on these fighters, the better. Oh my gosh. Yeah, open up. Just unload all your guns. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Are these the starfighters that are piloted by Magna Guards? That's just crazy, man. Those poor Arc 170s, they are really taking some hits. Gosh. Oh, it's good to have this guy around. At least we have one Corvette that's about to go. Come on, fighters, guard. Might actually lose this battle. Alright, you guys aren't doing anything. In terms of damage, I want you to move. If your guns aren't in range, I need them to be. All fighters, all fighters. Focus and guard. So that's the thing. All of these fighters are just major annoyances. That's it. That's all they are. And I can't do anything about it. It's like getting swarmed by flies or, or by like mosquitoes. They're mosquitoes, essentially, against my ships. Yeah, they're doing a little bit of damage. Maybe they'll give them some sort of like disease, like I don't know if it's Lyme disease. I think that's what ticks give. But either way, it's some disease that they're gonna give. And so all of my ships are like, ah, ah get get out of here. It's like swatting them, essentially. Boom, look at that. That's another sizable chunk of them taken out. 48. Now they're, it's probably going to go to my uh, better defended fleet. Let's see. Oh, I can bring that you over to. Yeah, yeah, it is. Isn't it? Imminent. Uh, yes, this is. That's a good fleet to fight. That's a good fleet to fight because I got carrots. I got carrots. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. And then they're going to try to fight the one on Corellia again. Or maybe Fondor, I don't know. <laughs> but this... Ooh. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I'm laughing too, buddy. I'm laughing too. Let's just bring the Carracks up. I don't know where they are. But I'm just going to bring the Carracks up. Okay, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. This is why I gotta fight under the guise of my <laughs> my fleet. But we did take a few of them with us already. Where's the guy? Where's the funny guy? Hey, give me a space mine. Okay, space mine's already used. Oh, you're dying, you're dying. Oh my gosh, buddy, this guy is dying. Oh no. Ooh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kerricks. Get over here. We'll need you. Point defense. Give some point defense lasers. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Unload on them. It's like Christmas. Look at all these lights. Alright, they just got a few more squads left. Well, actually, let's see how many we took out. 
61 out of, I don't know, 140 maybe. So it's like 80 of them left. Um, great. Battle imminent. Okay. I couldn't, I can't save. <laughs> oh! Oh, they still have a big fleet. <laughs> okay. All right. I need to save though. <laughs> I need to save. All right, I see that. They have a hypervelocity gun too. We have no time to waste. Move quick. Like I said, hypervelocity gun. Get everybody moving. Pack it up and go. We're not gonna wait here. This guy's gonna take a lot of fire, but it doesn't matter. I need you to unload quick. All fighters, move forward. Push up, we have to take it out. It has to be a decisive victory. I wish I had some sort of gravity well to stop them from retreating, because they're, they're probably going to. Can you imagine dying in one of these battles where it's like just an absolute victory? Gosh. Another hypervelocity gun. Like that squadron just died. Just poofed. Keep moving, keep moving. Open up, use that big, big boost. Want my fighters to go after the donut. Come on, buddy. Just go right through them. Excellent, even the victory's opening up. Good, take out the shields next. Honestly, the shields are going down anyway, but eh, might as well take out the hard point while we can. Fleet's moving up, and he's bringing in reinforcements. This might be a little foolish. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. All right. Let's get you out of there. <laughs> keep going, bread of the core, keep going. They're doing the same thing that we did previously. Stall. So they can get the victory. So they can take out the pride of the core using the hypervelocity gun. They're smart. Very smart. You see these ships? They're doing something that we did previously. Dave is he's got quite a good eye. He knows how I win. I don't go down without a strong fight. Oh. Alright. Let's bring another one. Oh my gosh, look at all those fighters Dave just brought in. Come on, open up. Open up on them. Oh, these poor Arc 170s are getting spawn killed. Oh, wow, would you look at that? Open up on them. Open up, take out those fighters. <laughs> the fighters again. It's the fighters again. <laughs> it's just a constant back and forth here. Fighters here, fighters there, fighters here, fighters there. Where's Anakin? Where's Obi-Wan? I've got troops. A lot of troops. All right, and we're back. So as the series is coming to a close, I do want to bring up one piece of advice that I've been kind of, that's kind of been percolating in my mind for a little while. So let me talk about that while I'm building some ships up to kind of finish things off. Um, so I've been reading this book and um, let me increase my volume a little bit here. So I've been reading this book and typically when I read, I, I just kind of, um, I go page by page. I'm a very slow reader in the sense that um, I'll, I'll go through the, the book just a tiny amount and then kind of meditate on it and so uh, one thing that's that's really been 
kind of a topic of consideration for me is in the book that I'm reading, the author wrote that for anything that you work extremely hard on, and we're talking about something that you're working very hard on, your effort, 99% uh, of your effort is wasted. Now, there could be a, a gross, like, over exaggeration, but putting that into perspective, let's say I, I study today for four hours, so that's uh, 240 minutes. Meaning, what that means is, out of those 240 minutes, we got to divide it by 100. That's 2.4 minutes. 2.4 minutes. So what is that? Two minutes and 12 seconds were genuinely useful and the rest were wasted. And I kind of was thinking about that and I was like, huh. Because I'm back in school, it's like, how can I make myself more efficient? How can I work faster? Because I want to dedicate time toward being the best, you know, best pharmacist, I could be best student I can be, then I also want to have time for my life, these types of things. You know, this is this is an extremely important part of my life. I'm extremely proud of what I have with this YouTube channel and I, I want to keep growing. However, the amount of time I can dedicate to it is, whoa, <laughs> is dependent on how efficient I can be with the rest of my life. And I was thinking about that and I was like, how can I really resolve that? And I haven't necessarily found an answer to that, unfortunately, yet, but I can tell you why I haven't found an answer to that. Beginning construction. And frankly, it's because I haven't put enough thought into it. And you might be like, a, you know, you might be like, no duh. But one piece of advice I would recommend for anybody in my circumstance or my situation would be to give yourself some time, hey, Quinlan Voss, to give yourself some time to, to really think, um, about your life to think about yourself i always advocate you know we talk about we joke about dave you know the ai dave and i told you guys he's my friend too on our discord i've been telling him he's a great buddy of mine you know one thing that he told me that really changed his life was journaling and writing down his his, his thoughts his life and everything and it's kind of it sounds like voodoo and whatnot but i would genuinely recommend for anybody to to pick up the habit and to just try it out see if it works for you and um and, and with that, you know, you don't have to start out by saying, like, I want to resolve this problem. You can just start and summarize your day. Can I ask yourself questions? And it's, it's with that questioning that I think it's difficult. You know, it's not easy. Everything is fighting for your attention in life. I mean, heck, my girl and I, she's constantly sending me these Instagram reels. We watch, we watch reels sometimes, you know, here and there, maybe like five minutes in the day, which I know isn't a lot, but you know, for me with being a pharmacy student and everything, that there's not much time to be doing that, but we'll still joke around. We'll still watch those reels and whatnot. And, um, I'm going to bring the 501st over to Corellia. And so with that, we're watching these things, we're laughing. Right away. It's a wonderful time. However, I will say that as, as fun as those reels are, as hilarious as they are, my gosh, they're, they're just, they're so funny sometimes. I, I, I just, there was one that was, that was just, it's, they're hilarious. And, and it's great to have that like dopamine rush, but as dopaminergic as they may be, in times of stress, such as when you're, you're back in school, when you're doing this, that, and the other, actually, let me bring these guys back to Corellia. Let me grab our other special units. We, this is our last time using them, so let me make sure I, I take advantage of that. But um, in those moments of stress, you don't need to be searching for dopamine. What you need is serotonin. The difference between the two is one is based on relaxation, serotonin, and the other is based on excitement or extreme pleasure, and that is dopamine. I think George Lucas had a speech about this too. So our objective really is in times of stress, you have to make sure that you're, you're not just, you know, hooting, hooting, hooter, hooting and hollering or whatever. You know, it's, it's not just about like, hoo hoo ha ha. It's also about just, hey, I don't know if you heard that, but just breathing, you know, just breathing, focusing on the press. I know this sounds a little bit weird for an Empire War YouTuber to say, but I'm just saying, it's something that I've thought of, and I, I really want to put more time in this YouTube channel, but the only way I'm able to do that is really by putting focus on myself, making sure I'm efficient with my life, and then 
with that, I'll be able to kind of put forth more effort into things I care about. It's definitely a tall order, though, my friends. Tall order. You know, school is definitely taxing, time-consuming, the whole shebang. But thankfully, we're finally going to have the ground assault for Christophsis. I'm bringing in the Marines. <laughs> One last time. Bringing in the Galactic Marines. Let me grab some Wolfpack, too. I think I got Plo. Plo Goon. Buddy, we're going to need you on this one. Indeed. We're going to need you. Let's see. Are the wolf pack... Is the wolf pack anywhere to be found? I got some rebels here. If I want to bring Coda. <laughs> Actually, I'll use Coda for Rhodia then. Coda, buddy. Coda. But yeah, it's, it's just... It's just kind of something that I want to express. You know, if, if, if you, if you want to... You know, chat about this in the future. You can always go in the Discord. You can tell me in the comments. It's just, you know, I learn about these things and I want to make sure that I'm passing on knowledge in that way. I don't just want to be someone who entertains you, but I also want to be someone who you benefit from directly. It's not just about fun, it's also about learning. And I just want to make sure I'm teaching you all these things because it's important to me. Uh, try, to be a, try to be a good teacher. I try my best. I don't know if I am, but hey. Um, all right, bring those troops over. I think Blow is on the move here. I've got some clones, more clones. These guys. What are you doing? Wrong position. Oh man. Okay, so as a matter of fact, that's kind of vexing. But apparently, there was a battle that was just straight up not loaded on my screen for Christophsis, the space battle. I was wondering why there were space units there that weren't uh, that weren't attacking, but either way, mild glitch aside, we're gonna win this. That's how we'll win this war. One battle at a time. Yeah, I agree. Let's start pushing forward, move our fighters up. Ooh, what it ew, what is this? That is a crazy looking fighter. We can use the assistance though. Please, by all means. Alright, bring in the fighters. Arc 170s. I really should have given these guys a buff, I think. I think for the Arc 170s, I just don't know. They're not amazing. <laughs> I think I should have given their tail gunners a little bit more oomph. Um, and that would have helped them out a little bit. Because they, they got enough health, but ah, they just don't. They just don't do it. They're great for, for bombers and whatnot, but... As starfighters, eh, they're just okay. Keep moving, troops. Keep moving. Ooh, this dreadnought is taking a lot of fire. Hey, help him out best you can. You too. I need you to move up. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you're taking a lot of fire, but you're also putting out a lot too. How you doing pretty good. Nice job. Your ship is really weird. Alright, what do you got? You got corrupt systems? Do it. Yeah, yeah, and you can stealth too! Look at that! Alright, capitalize on that, troops. Take out their fighters. Oh man, good job. We're destroying munificence even without the assistance of our capital ships. I don't need you to do a spin, I want you to just go straight. Please go straight. <laughs> Alright, let's push up. I want you to turn about. No, 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 no. Don't turn about, actually. Just turn. Uh, yeah, load up those cannons. Good. Broadsides on both sides. Excellent job. Love me some Venators. Good stuff. Fire all batteries. Open up. We've got a whole lot of fighters. Watch it. Oh, boy. Gosh, look at this. This is just a mess. <laughs> oh, good lord, there are just so many fighters. It just feels like it's, a, it's an unlimited amount. Like, look at them. And they all shoot blue lasers too, I think. Or maybe it's red, maybe it's red, I don't know. But gosh, look at that. 
That's just crazy, man. Look at all those lasers. Golly. If you didn't know, uh, you can have a free roam camera when you press C and the ship that you were viewing dies. That's <laughs> just a quirky feature about Empire at War. Alright, push the Venators up. We gotta move forward. We don't want to lose our momentum here. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't do a loop. The loop is weird. The loop is very weird. Okay, this is terrible. Alright, that's the best you can do. There we go. Full steam. Keep going. Unload those barrels. Give them some point defense if you can. Good. Alright, fighters. Let's go. I'm curious if he's going to retreat. I have a Sentax. Where? Oh, hey, hey. What are you doing in the nebula? You can use your guns. Yes, nice. Unload on this guy. Use that beam cannon. Nice, nice. He's going to retreat again. But where are you going to retreat to, Dave? You're just going to retreat to another battle line. I just don't understand what, what his plan is here. You see, he's just going to retreat to another planet that is blockaded. I mean, go for it. By all means. But, um, but wait. <laughs> let me, let me regroup my troops again here. That's so unfortunate. My gosh. Oh. Okay. So, you went to Rhodia. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I'll, I'll take it. I've got more anti-fighter capability. And he only has a handful of munificence. Okay, we're back in business. <laughs> this guy's voice is so funny. Is that what I sound like? Keep it tight. And keep the <laughs> safe. Like, it, I don't think mine is that low. Yeah, I agree. Come on, it's payday. I want all fighters. Are you guys still with me? Push up, all fighters. Start opening up. We've got a lot of, a lot of big bad, a lot to deal with. All my gosh! All right, here we go. We got some munificence here. Yes, chew them up. Wow, the dreadnoughts are great. My gosh, they're excellent. You know, I really got to commend Nohembri. You know, he, he made Republic at War so much cooler. Republic at War already is a fantastic mod back from the OG days of Empire at War, but gosh, the, the mod creator of this sub-mod just upped it to a completely different level. It's beautiful. All right, open up. Start shooting every laser. Try to take these things out. I don't think they're killing many of the starfighters. Unfortunately, I think the hitboxes of these starfighters are a little bit funky. So, they're tough to kill. They're tough to kill. All right, troops. All right. Uh, go chase that one down if you can. You too. See if you can chase him. I take that back. I think I can spawn something in myself. Hello. <laughs> the Venator has arrived. Oh, we've got some recusants back there. Fleet, turn about. Turn about, turn about. Everyone turn around, turn around. Come on, start killing those fighters. Oh gosh, the recusants are going away again. <laughs> I just got to spam Carex. Oh, I lost some troops too. Wow. Oh no. Oh no, ground troops at Christophsis. Alright, let me get some Carex up in here. Ah, poo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's just gonna be a back and forth now. It's just... Can I get a gravity well, please? I think this is where you have to do like the the funny auto resolve. 
after a while. Scanners are picking up droids everywhere. Keep it tight. Keep the soft shell safe. Let's blow something up. Open up on them. <laughs> See that? Look at that. Look, now we just blast them. See, now the Recusins are gonna go. I don't know what Dave's plan is here. I think he's just he, he just is out of options. He has nowhere to park his fleet. And the retreat is just kind of doing everything for him. Alright, well. Doing a bit of a number. Come on, get this guy with the beam cannon. Get him, get him. Nice. Now unload on him. You too. I don't know if you have enough oomph to take him out, but that'd be nice. Once you destroy him, I'm going to auto-resolve. See if I can take out the rest of them. Beautiful. No more retreat for Dave. No more retreat. I think that was our final space battle. I lost a Venator. <laughs> Why did I lose a Venator? Okay, so that was not. We've got ground troops in circulation. They're going to keep moving around. Um, all right, in the meantime, let me reestablish my troops here. Going to get the Imperial forces out. And then um, I'm going to combine these guys. All right. Tactical battle imminent. Ready All right, you, and then where is Plo? Okay, Plo should be with Coda. Ready for attack. Plo, I gotta move you, but I think I'm gonna get attacked first. Indeed. Never mind. Never mind. Ready for attack. Same with Master Mundi. I'm gonna have you move there. I'm gonna save. Beautiful. Koda, I'm going to have you with your militia to help me on Rhodia. Just like we were doing before. Sir, yes, sir. And finally, let's get the show on the road, shall we? Oh, Quinlan, Voss. Can't forget about Voss. Get over there, my friend. Let's fight. Invasion commencing. Ooh, new gun ray again. Okay. All right. Let's see how good he is. Oh, look at this Christophsis map. All right. All right. Here's the plan. I want three Jedi generals on the ground. I want Marines. Oh, I don't have any wolf pack. Oops. All right, we're just going to go with Marines, and then let's do what's very characteristic of Christophsis, some artillery. Some ATRTs as well. They were present in the battle as well. All right, so we've got... Oh, wow, we're already fighting. Okay. Watch it. Where's Master Voss? Get those Marines out there. We've got Staps inbound. Master Mundi can't be fighting alone. Looks like Master Voss did not come with his own clone, but that's okay. No commander for him. Alright. Oh, you gotta run, buddy. You gotta run. Taking too much fire. Get that artillery up and running. Good thing we have it. We're gonna need it. Excellent work. Put up these turrets. Mundi, I'm going to have you build up some turrets here as well. well Alright, everybody, pull back. This old Jedi still has a few tricks up his sleeve. Don't overextend yourself Stand too far. You Alright, position yourselves accordingly. That's what I'd like to know. We've lost a landing zone. Oh, we lost a landing zone. What the... Uh-oh, uh-oh. You can't negotiate with droids. Construction complete. Lay down cover fire. Troops, come on now. Why can't you take them out? 
What's going on here? Why are you missing? Come on, boys. What's going on? Whoa! -ho -ho. Your damage is terrible! And you're missing a lot. The poor clones. Man, they are, they are tired. They want this war to end. Good. Got the landing zone back. I concur. Alright, let's push up. Let's be gentle now. Can't go too far. Alright, artillery, do your thing. Guard up our troops. Our troops can't really do too much damage, although Wolf is definitely... Wolf is definitely putting up a fight. Well, that's your opinion, man. <laughs> Alright, Medic. You healing up the troops? Good. Moondi, I need you in the healing range as well. Good, good. Oh, they know. One shot, one kill. Uh, Master Moondi, I'm gonna have you take a turret here. I don't want to get flanked again. Matter of fact, I want some clones on this end. Take the shinies here. Looks like we're under attack. Alright. Start opening up. Good job. Good job. We got Bakara. We have um, Wolf. We have the Galactic Marines. Excellent work. Good stuff, troops. Good stuff. Too bad Bakara is T-posing. Alright. Let's move, Master Fisto. Let's go. Let's push up. Same with the Yardi. Alright, open up. Watch out, troops. Watch out. Looks like the Jedi are kind of overextending themselves a little bit. Well, they should be able to handle that just fine. There's definitely going to be a slow trudge to the, um, to the command post. We got to get to the LZ. Oh, they got, they got flak. Give me a bombing run on this position. Mm, this might not be a good idea. No, pull back. Everyone fall back, fall back. Nah, he didn't do enough damage. Bombing run did not do it. Cover them, artillery. I'm gonna move you up here. I need you to take out that flak. If you can. Oh, you don't have range. Go up. I want everyone to position right here. Like, like that. Alright. Position up. Good stuff, troops. Excellent work. Alright, I'm gonna need eyes on that flak. Ah, yikes. Okay, you know what? They, they can hit you. You just gotta go for it. And you have to move. Oh, no, 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 no. We need the Jedi. Are you... What are you doing? Moondi, we need to take out this turret. Oh, this is a mess. Watch out, troops. Watch out. Bakara, get out. Oh, boy. I've lost a lot of Marines here. Good job, Plo. Alright, 
looks like we've got a problem here. Let me just bring a turbo tank. Good to see you too. The droid army is only constructing. Alright, get that turret up. You two get that turret up. Wolf go. One shot, one kill. We can take the Actually, we need a healer for you. Nothing deadlier than a clone behind the trigger. Push you up. Let's go. We've secured a build pad. All right. General, copy that. Yes, General. What are we waiting for? Combat is a clone's natural element. Copy that. All right, all right. Oh, there's going to be a fire. Pull an assist. Give me the turbo tank. Yes, General. Combat is a clone's natural element. Hmm. Turret constructing. We're ready for battle, sir. All right. Position is secure. Good. Position is secure. Alright. Now that we've got pretty much nobody left of our initial force, let's move. Turbo tank will stay here. Want to use him more as a, just a mobile emplacement. The flak will do too much damage to him. Mm, that's unfortunate. We'll follow you anywhere, sir. Bakara, please don't die. All right. I don't give up. Clones All right, buddy, just hang on there. Hey, please. Why? Why? He's gonna die. He died. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'm glad the Jedi are at least doing some stuff. I can't believe Bakara died. Gosh, the clones are really struggling against the B2s right now. Thank goodness. All right. Now let's start moving around. Let's um, let's join in with the others. Hey, thanks. All right. We got more droids coming in. We've secured a build pad. We've secured a build pad. Let's get you a back to station. Clones keep the scrap More. Busy. Oh my gosh, how many turrets? You can really defend this planet, my goodness. Especially given they have so many infantry. Yeah, you'd want to defend this planet too. Alright. Um, let's see. Construction complete. Well, on the battle, there were some ATTs. So you get ATTs, some more Marines, and some sh uh, maybe not shinies. I don't know. Um, let's get some fast movers. All right, ATT. I'm gonna prime you up and ready. We're gonna have the main force getting up here. Bacta, Bacta. There we go. So I want to prepare the force for when we're going to make a, a grand slam here. Meanwhile, I want the turbo tank and the fast movers to move into the center. Look at this turbo tank. My gosh, I'm so glad it, it works on the maps. It's kind of huge. I oversized it. I made it larger because I thought turbo tanks are, are supposed to be far more massive. And they are. And they are. Nope, we've got more droids coming in. All right, what's the situation? Oh boy. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Go back, go back. Wolf, uh-uh. We -uh. throw a grenade in there, but no. All right, how are we losing them? Oh, I see. Wolf, what are you doing? Oh, buddy. That was my negligence. I'm sorry. It's also your stupidity, but you know. Alright. Let's get this one as well. 
Good, run them over. Yes, nice job. Now finish them off. Man, B2s have a lot of health. This one too. Excellent work. Now let's mop them up over there. Keep moving. The ATRTs will come in and take the post. I want our artillery to be positioned here as well. I want them to uh, to help us out once the time comes. Oh, watch out! Oh, watch out! We got droids here. From what? Oh, flak! Run back! Run back! Pull back! Get out of there! Turbo tank down! Lost another one. All right. Oh my. Alright, that's not good. Um, some heavy weapons specialists. We'll need some rockets. I want, since we have Master Mundi, I want an AT, UT-80. Another ATTE. And um, more infantry. We'll get some more. Yeah, I'm not going to bring in the lats this time. Ah, see? Not spamming them. I don't use ATPTs too much. I know they have some rockets, so we'll use them as well. All right. So in case there's infantry that comes by, we'll defend against them. On that position. All right. Looks like we're staged up. Bring in the ATTEs. Bring in the UTAT. Everything that's strong goes up first. Let's see. Watch the rear. Copy that, General. Are you stuck, buddy? No, you're not, thank God. Alright, get you moving. I want everybody except the artillery prepped up and ready to go. Let's go. Alright, artillery, cover their approach. You won't be able to provide too much cover for them once they're under the shield. They gotta take that down. <laughs> I love how they made Quinlan Voss like a surfer. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. We've secured a build pad. Uh, looks like we've got some droids okay, go. still around, so we gotta take them out. Oh boy, oh boy, you are you are pushing in too far. Oh my gosh, they're getting sniped. Watch out, we got a we got a whole bunker down up there. Open up with the rockets. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, man. They can get on top of the walls. That's cool. Everybody's on the walls. <laughs> Excellent job. Excellent job. Everyone take cover. Come on. Push in. Push in. You push up. Push up. Get moving. Oh, we're losing Mundi. Oh, we lost Mundi. Hang in there, Plo. Keep firing. Keep firing. All of you, push up. I want our artillery moving up as well. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, everybody, let's move. Come on, artillery, let's go. Look at these heavy gunners, they're so nice. Keep moving up. Good job. Wow, it was like a castle in here. What a fortress. I agree. We got droids inbound. Looks like we got another stronghold. Mm. That's not good. There's another stronghold this way. So it looks like the battle's not done yet. This is another position that's kind of important to them. Let's bring the artillery back. Ah, uh, well. Looks like Christophsis is a pretty... Tough battle. 
All right, let's get another stage. Now I'll bring in the air. Give me the air, and give me some standard shinies. I want fast movers as well. Get some quick tanks. If I can get some, some ATRTs. We're just gonna saturate their guns while the rest of our troops move in. Who are you firing at? Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> A little bit too eager there, my friends. Let's go, come on. Good. We need fire support. Push up. We got Y-Wings coming in. Bombing run inbound. Alright, get over there. Focus on that. You can't take too much damage. Bring in the infantry. Send in your rockets and then go over to the repulsor, to the engine. Power generator. Good job. Now go to the power generator. They're retreating now. Beautiful. Heavy losses. Heavy losses. Now, Christophsis was a pretty tough battle in Clone Wars, I guess I'll justify it. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was... Ooh, boy, that was pretty bad. Now we got a space battle. Well, there were a new gun, right? <laughs> Let's see. What, who, who do we have? We have a lot of super battle droids. Jango Fett himself. Um, okay. We'll use other units we haven't uh, we haven't tried out in a while. Oh, I'll use my absolutely. I'll use my my special forces. Are you a ground unit? Let me just throw you in here real quick, buddy. I don't know if you are, but I'll throw you in. Let me do a quick save. I guess we'll bring in the Wookies too. Construction complete. Let's bring in everybody. Just let's just let's just start collecting units. Try them out best we can, ones that we haven't used in a while. And let's use them to, to help out Coda. Coda's gonna need some reinforcements, maybe the Empire finally in this one. Yeah. Yeah, that should be... That should be good. <laughs> mm. The Siege Battalion as well, with Luminara Unduli and her Padawan. That should be an excellent Rhodia battle. <laughs> My gosh, the second to last planet to take over. And then we've just got Corellia afterward. That is just wild to me. Finally, after a year, we are ending this campaign with a banger. And I'm telling you, I, I'm so excited to complete this season. And the next season is going to be even crazier, let me tell you. I've been told a lot on the Discord server by our wonderful members about how difficult the next mod is going to be, and so I cannot wait for you all to see what- Oh my gosh, the Rodians. Alright, we're just gonna need you over here. <laughs> I, I don't think you're gonna be able to help out much. Since this is an alien planet, let's get some Wookiees on the ground. I want Spec Ops as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> give, me, give me give me some spec ops units, and then I'll bring in the rebels later. Let's get some siege battalion troops with Luminara and her Padawan, plus Kit Fisto with the, um, with the specialty units, some, some of these guys. All right, this is, all right, here's the plan. Our focus needs to be on these two positions right here. I've got a lot of infantry that are up top and probably a lot down south. I'll use the Siege Battalion uh, to kind of take up the top. Plus Shinies. Luminara Unduli. And Commander Gree. Beautiful. Look at that. We've got Gree finally. Master Luminar, you are you are not going the way I requested, but okay. 
All these poor Rodians, they are so dead. I'm going to request that the Wookiees also follow suit with the clones. Grab that. I don't want to lose this command post. So we're going to have a lot of the troops move that way. While these guys, the spec units, are going to focus on the south. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going. We've got commandos on the ground. Take this command post and then our larger force. Let's take the top. Let's move in. We got the Siege Battalion, Command Degree, T posing. We got Luminara on Dually, Wookiees, all on Rhodey. I don't. Oh, yeah, we did fight over Kashyyyk quite extensively, too. You guys are focusing on that. Let's get the commandos moving. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm glad they can shoot while running. It's very cool. <laughs> They're so effective, my gosh. Let me get the snipers on board here. Losing is not an option. Who is this? This is Skirata. That's Skirata. Where is Sev? Ready. Nothing deadlier than a clone behind the is Sev not a part of this group? Did Sev die? Ready no, Sev is right here. There you are. All right. Yes, All right, everybody. Combat is a clone's Keep tight. Oh, gonna be a I want group two. Get over this way. Excellent. Wait, I lost this command post? How did I lose? Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Master Fisto, go with your small ARF trooper squad. Your two squads of ARF trooper troopers, and let's take that command post. Let's go reclaim that. Keep pushing up. Oh my gosh. Who just died? Was that... Oh, they're fighting heroes. That was... Uh, that was... Who was that again? <laughs> it's not Asajj. It's uh, it's the bounty hunter. Oh, I forgot her name. Aura Singh. There we go. Oh. It's Django. It's Django. He, wow, he died quick. <laughs> oh, looks like Gree is about to die. Luminara, actually, Barris, you should save your commander. Come on, everybody, we're going to need your assistance here. Good job, all right. Now that we got these guys, let's bring in the rebels. We're bringing Coda, plus rebels. All right, commandos, let's move up. I'm up for action. Another kill for the cause. Good, good. Keep firing while running. Another Keep firing while running. I love how the ones in the back are firing, so the ones in the front can get into position first. Oh, yeah. oh is that flak? That is. Good. Pull back. It's too much fire for you. Ready? Yes, sir. Alright, so I am right back. Unfortunately, the bombing run is now causing crashes. I had to do this multiple times, this battle. They just lost Bosk. And so what I have to do now is I'm performing a double bubble here. I'm taking this turret right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Commandeering a turret is just so fun. Um, so we've taken control of this turret, presumably. I hope. Uh, we've taken control of this turret, and we're going to do a two-pronged assault. I have Luminara, I've got Rebels, I have Wookiees, I've got Commander Gree, I've got Barris Afi, and I've got Rodians all up top. We're going to push up the north. They have AA, so it's going to be a little tough to push up from the north very extensively, but we're also going to push up from the south. I've got artillery, I've got gunships, I've got a lot. I've, I've fought this battle a couple times now because of the crashes, but I'm back. I'm back into things. But the troops are definitely taking a lot of fire. Oh, me oh my. Another kill for the cause. 
The north is definitely doing better than the south, that's for sure. I'm gonna bring in the gunships, try to see if they can mop up these guys around here. Oh boy. Alright, commandos, keep moving, keep fighting. Oh yes you are. Alright, try to see if you can take down some of them. Focus on opening fire on their structures, please. Hmm, look at that. We gotta mop them up, but we don't have... <laughs> oh no, they're taking out our troops! Move up north, move up north again! <laughs> oh, this game is so quirky. The little things that start to break after um, after you get to the end, you know, like the bombing runs are now crashing. But I finally won. Oh my gosh, I fought that battle so many times. Let's just save it, just save it. Save the game, double save it, do whatever you gotta do, they're retreating. <laughs> Finally! We're gonna take out some ground forces probably, they're gonna retreat to our gut. Are you serious? <laughs> Well, uh, let me just take out Corellia then while I'm at it. Complete. I've got the 501st, I've got, oh man, I've got everybody. Obi-Wan, Anakin, the whole squad. Invasion commencing. Oh my. So, with the boosts that I gave, oh wow, look at that, that's Torrent Company right there. With the boosts that I gave Grievous, you know, I also boosted our Jedi a little bit. Try to take out that command post. I want Torn Company. Group up, Torn Company. Group up. If you can't, oh, you're stuck. All right, looks like the 501st is stuck. Uh, no, they're fine. These guys are fine. All right, this might not be canon, but Anakin is going to take on Grievous. We're going to have Yoda, we're going to have Obi-Wan, we're going to have Ahsoka, we have the 501st, we got the 212th, maybe another squad of 501st, and Shakti. I even have some Senate Commandos that I kind of want to bring in as well. But I need to take that command post. Alright troops, here's the situation. We got a lot of droids coming our way. Gotta watch out, Torn Company. We're gonna have a lot of enemies coming in. I don't know where Fives, Jesse, and Co. are, but I think they should be in the mix, right? Are they... Where's our Torn Company High Command? Alright. Battle's commencing, troops. Alright, everybody. Group up, group up. We got the 501st here, we've got the 212th. It's just like Umbara all over again. Here we go, here's the 501st High Command. Stuck. Getting pot shots taken. Ah, oh, jeez, I wish I could save them. Sorry, boys. Looks like we're gonna be stuck here for now. But it's our last battle, so we gotta make sure it counts. Alright. Stay down. We'll get you out of there. All right. Let's check out our high command. We've got Rex. We've got Cody. We got Obi Wan. We got Anakin. We got Ahsoka. We got Yoda. We got Mace Windu. We got Shakti. Let's go. Move up, troops. Pull up. So yes, I boosted the Jedi a little bit too, such as Yoda with his extreme speed in killing droids. Anakin with his extreme strength. Ahsoka with her speed as well, Obi-Wan with his defensive capabilities, and uh, etc. Oh my gosh, are those stabs? Those are stabs. Alright, watch out everybody. Watch out, we've got some extremely speedy Jedi, some very strong Jedi, and then uh, Mace Windu also is very good at killing groups of, groups of uh, troops. Got Rex opening fire, fighting with Cody. 
Everyone's going to push up to this position. Watch out for Grievous. Obi-Wan's still the best defensive fighter, of course. Oh, we lost some clones over here. Some 501st. Shock T, we're going to need you to take this guy out. Ahsoka, try your best to help out. Take out those B2s. Let's get this command post. Come on now. Mason, I'm going to need you on the ground here. <laughs> those stabs, oh my gosh. They just take over the sound. Finally, we got the stabs. Jeez. All right. We got Rex taking out some of the droids. We got Grievous. Where? Where's Grievous? Who's fighting Grievous right now? Hmm? The name's Ahsoka Tano. Hmm? Weapons check. Who? We've secured a landing zone. We've secured a build pad. I have no idea where that guy is. He must have ran. <laughs> he must have ran. Alright, no bombing runs. I can't do bombing runs anymore. I'll just bring in some Senate Commandos. Some more 212. Let's go. Alright, you two. Keep firing. I think you're hitting a wall, Cody. Same with you, Rex. Krivis is down? I don't even know how he died. <laughs> Nice, you've got some Senate Commandos on the ground. This is what you get for not attacking Coruscant. You should have. I think, frankly, in the future, for the uh, for the next season and the next mods, I, I very much will want to uh, kind of edit the XML to make the Jedi just a little bit super duper like this. I think it's just more fun having them fun. And, of course, I'm going to have the, uh, the Sith the same. I'm going to have... Count Dooku, of course, act like that as well. Don't worry, I won't. That won't be too biased. I'll probably have to play the Separatists too once I go back to the prequel era. So, no bother, no bother. All right. I want everybody, everybody, push up to this command post. Nice job, troops. Nice job. Check out that stab right there. Nice. Keep moving. For the rebellion. <laughs> that wasn't a thing by the time of this. Where's Yoda? Yoda, do me a favor. Give me eyes on the entire map here. I want to see how interesting these droids are. How many? Oh, we got a lot of stabs still. Yoda, I want you to do me a favor. You and Anakin, let's have you attack the South. I want you to go in there. Come on, you two. The most fast Jedi in terms of fighting prowess, and then the strongest, the most gifted. They're beautiful. I don't think we ever saw Anakin and Yoda really fight uh, too much together in the Clone Wars, together. But we did see them work together a little bit in the final the final episodes in the Lost Missions. <laughs> where, where Yoda kind of roasted Anakin, so... <laughs> hey, man. They worked together well. You know, they at least respected each other well. Beautiful. Let's keep bringing everybody up. Let's get this command post up and running. And Anakin is always big on taking out these stabs. He kicks them. <laughs> it's always been a thing in the Clone Wars, kicking them off of the stabs. It's, it's pretty quirky. Oh, did we just lose some clones there? Oh, some civvies. We lost the civvies. Alright. Get another command post. 
Ooh, you're taking fire. From where? Oh, from... Let's, let's go over here. Alright, troops. Let's start working on some effective units. I want to bring in a whole host of different units. Ooh, the 501st is taken. Definitely taking a little bit of hits here. Alright, I want artillery. I want some gunships. I want an ATTE. I want a turbo tank. I want fast movers. I've never tried the grenadiers. Mount up. Let's go. Make some room for the others. I want you to move over here real quick. Actually, no, 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 no. Move over here. Take that thing out. Meanwhile, I want you troops moving down here. There should be... Oh, there's a hypervelocity gun there. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, let's get this one next. The power generator's over here, I remember right. Alright. Right. Alright. Another group of Jedi. Ahsoka. Mace. And then the citizen. <laughs> Ahsoka. Take out the flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Obi-Wan, take out the infantry. And then Mace, take out the uh, power generator. Make sure these civvies can help out a little bit with their pistols. <laughs> Alright. Let's have you guys move in. Alright. Bring in everybody else. Let's move. I'm not going to try the bombardment either. I'm kind of scared it's going to crash the game. And I'm not going to crash after this victory. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Everybody, move in. I want air. Help out with the hypervelocity gun here. we got to take that thing out. Beautiful. What a fantastic, fantastic end of the series. Finishing it up, mopping things. Keep moving, watch it, watch it. Looks like we've grouped up with the others. I wonder where the droids are. Where's the rest of the enemy? Ah, got the hypervelocity gun. Yoda, do you think you can run over there fast enough? Or Ahsoka, who can get there faster? <laughs> yep, Ahsoka's there. Ah, so goofy. <laughs> Beautiful. And look at that. You got Anakin with the boys in blue. Different types of boys in blue, too. We've got the Senate Commandos, 501st, and we got Rex back with Cody. Good buddies. Good friends. Dear friends. And look at that. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is a victory for the Republic. We did it! <laughs> we did it! Congratulations, everybody! Peace has been brought to the galaxy once and for all. Thank you all very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure this past year playing this game with everyone and developing a community, really. I would love to thank our admin to the uh, to the Discord server, Director Panda, all the moderators, Giuliana Zor, and now Admiral Curse, the wonderful members of our Discord. And on top of that, I'd love to thank all of you, the amazing commenters, the wonderful viewers, all of the Discord members, it has been a joy to be with all of you, to play with all of you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been incredible. And now we can see the team is rolling and everything. And, you know, you guys definitely have been a good part of my life, an amazing part of my life. And since we just got to the end of 2023, I would like to say that this little channel of mine has definitely been a highlight for me. 
So with that said, you might be wondering, what is up next for the channel? Well, I'd like to continue this concept in the future. I'd love to continue working with Empire at War. I think this is a fantastic game to build a community with. These are just, uh, there just are very few content creators who are playing with the game especially with uh, the different styles and everything, I think it's fun to play around, so I'd love to do another mod. So as of now, I'm not going to give any promises, but the tentative plan is to do the Empire at War, but it's realistic, with Awakening of the Rebellion. That's going to be the next season, folks. And with that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, pronounced like C-Rooster. Just take out the terror. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, look at that. Rank Admiral. <laughs> Military efficiency 55. Hey, conquest efficiency 100. Kill efficiency 100. Look at that. Congratulations. You have helped the Republic to remove the cons Confederacy from the galaxy. Wow. Amazing. Take care, folks.